We're live. And we're oh, live. Hi, what's up? Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Just dropped over the live. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Hold on, we're about to make everyone upset doing? with Hold fast up. food. Oh my god, I took a sticky key prompt came up. Hold on. With our with fast hey, food light help? opinions. Here we go. There we go. Um yeah, we are live. Oh, everyone's live. Okay. This is cool. Ultra Podcast Z episode 145. Can you believe that guys? 145 episodes. Um Ooh. but let, let me I'm still a dumbass and I'm only sharing this now, so let me uh let, let me take Ooh. care of this. Fast. Ooh, woo. What about the ooh, woo? Give me a all sec. About, all about the ooh, woos. Ooh, woo. Oh, I should not be saying that. Hiding. Sorry, not my bad. Woot, woot. I mean, woot, woot. woot. woot, woot. woot, woot. Yeah, woot, woot, woot is a. Uh, woot, woot. woot. A, that that is not a very. Uh, that's not a civilian thing to do. <laughs> it's not. A, it's not a civilian <laughs> thing to say woot, woot. You can say woot woot. Woot. I was saying woot woot, but it sounds like a blood theme. (laughs) That's what they say. Yeah, that's what I was just. You and your blood (laughs) theme. No, because I said the the other day I was talking. What did I? It was just giving you knowledge. That's it. You said slob. There you go. The other day I called someone a slob, as in somebody who like doesn't take care of themselves really, just like kind of slobby. And Warren's all like, "Oh, that, that's an insult to blood." And I'm like, "I'm trying to get myself shot." He googled like, this. This dude over here fucking googled. It. <laughs> I did Google it. Oh, look, the stream looks nice for once. Stan, thank you, JD. You're welcome. Oh, hell, Who thank you, JD. Damn. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, he typically he just. It's Manuel, we're talking that mad shit, not yeah. like, like normally do this or is this a special everything about it is oh, a special I, I see what you mean you, you make it sound like I, I made it sound like i'm talking shit about him no 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 no. i'm just <laughs> saying like okay when, when i do the tier list go go back and look when i do the tier list i literally just lay a bunch of shit on black and and like it just looks like a mess and nothing is aligned properly and i'm always driving myself crazy because everything's the wrong size but it looks good Hey, hey, evil, evil, evil Asian 3000. Hey, Josh, you got to get a friend. Evil Asian, Asian 3000. <laughs> evil, yeah. Evil, That's my evil girlfriend. Asian, but he... Hi, I honey. Warren, get Warren home over safe. Here. Warren's all like, hey, evil Asian 3000. That's what, that, that's your username on, like, Farmers Only. Isn't that's it, me. <laughs> yeah, that, the night I'm Asian. <laughs> I don't know why it's Farmers Only. Anyways. Um, it's just kind of anyways. Just you at something. Oh my god. Okay, let's introduce ourselves. Hey everyone, this is Ultra Podcast Z. We're doing a fast food tier list today. We have a lot of guests here. I'm Manuel, leader of AJ Connections, as always. Nyaru is not joining us tonight, um, which, which is why we came up with this Nyaru. idea. Because like when she said she wasn't going to be able to come on tonight, I didn't want to skip any week because we actually had a really good uh, run of good episodes lately. I didn't want to end that momentum like with a break again, especially because I'm like, oh, I, I don't need to not stream. So I'll I'll just figure something else out. And the tier list is really easy because I can just get people on like that. Because if you have an opinion, just jump on. Speaking of which, Warren, introduce yourself. Uh, what's up, yo? My name is Warren, aka Frederick Batman, aka Too Many Names McGee, aka That Dude, but not That Dude. Um, and uh, I just do DTL stuff with Manuel, and also uh, Wild Arms Wednesday, which is fucking canceled tomorrow, uh, with Manuel as well. Um, we also do the D and D stream, aka DTR, the Drink Talk Roll, and um, I also do I stream a little bit on my channel, Twitch.tv slash and my STA underscore Badman, Mr. Badman. And yeah, that's all we, that's all I do. Boop. Is Janet alive? I haven't heard her in a minute. Am I alive? Oh, there you go. Go ahead and stuff, I guess. Um, Hello, Janet. Ooh, it's Janet. Have been here in a while. I Greetings from you. Texas. It's a hell state. It's a hell state. I don't think we've had you on since I was random. Dude, Is it just because it's hella hot? Are- no, just I mean, all sorts of things. Dude, it's It was like 93 today, and it's raining. It's gross. And also, the governor got COVID. So, you know. Yes! Yeah, you know what happened? The governor got COVID? He got oh. it! Dude! Dude, wait, wait. the almighty has spoken, and he has said, step down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Three hours. They confirmed it. 
He confirmed it today and yesterday he was at a big fundraiser, so who boy. <laughs> oh <laughs> damn. <God. laughs> oh, okay, dude. Anyway, okay, that's good. <laughs> here I am. Oh, man. Uh, but since Texas is a hell state, I look forward to covering events now that the hell state has decided we're having events again. Exactly. Have so, to totally check out the Mega Me Made. They they totally deserve all of your attention. Recently, they were doing a what was it? A, a special for the uh, Oron High School Host Club. Either way, they're all cute, and that's my plugin for them. Go ahead and uh, yeah. So uh, go introduce yourself though. In the meantime, introduce yourself, Josh. Like for more like oh. yourself. Oh shit! Oh, so I actually had the floor. Oh, now I feel bad. Yes. I feel yes. Bad. No, you're good. Bad. No, you're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Uh, I am Josh Cruz, also known as Fotaku. I am a Fotaku and Fa nerd. So Fotaku, you can have fun debating how that's pronounced. But yes, I have both the U I have the YouTube, the Twitch, and the um, Instagram. Oh, on Twitter, I'm on Twitter on there. Yeah, but yes, Fotaku Network on all except Twitter. That one's net Network Fotaku because someone actually took the name, and I don't know who they are. But um, we'll be we'll, we'll find you. Hiring kids <laughs> from. But will I be hiring kids from Britain to go and cause a heart attack to whoever has that user handle? No, I won't, because I am an adult, <laughs> and Network for Taku is still equally good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, I'm laughing. Also because of that, I, so I keep laughing, but like, if anyone, I don't even know what I want to say, this live is really disgusting. I'm like, what does that smell? And I'm like, what's the big smells in my room? <laughs> Man, you're over here himself and shit. No. <laughs> okay, first of all, I didn't shit myself. Don't, nobody think that. And I'm like, is that my mask? Is that is that what is what I smell? Is that my room? Is that my mask? And I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's definitely piss. No, I'm like, did I pee on this mask? That's oh, gross. That's gross, yo. Piss in this room. Is like pee outside my door? Bro, I'm not eating. Please don't. I know. It's like, is this piss? Anyways, anyways, I'm only half joking. I do smell like. A weird piece of this room. Well, Anyways. That just means you need to get the that smell product. of urine. That, I mean, that's on the YouTube that, you know, you, you smell the, the sweat and the stuff on the cloths. And, you know, buy this not oxy... What's it called? Shoot. I forgot what it's called. Oxy I probably remember if we were sponsored. Okay, I, need, I, need to wa <laughs> I need to wash this uh this face mask we were getting at because it smells like piss. Um... I don't know if that's what it is. I really don't know if I'm smelling that. Or I don't want to like start smelling the whole room. I'm like, I, I'm, is it like a pewter? Does my mic smell like piss? There's actually a, a funny song by this band called Shoney Knife called My Mic Smells Funny. And it's about them doing shows in random countries where they get to use the, the stage mics. And apparently a lot of those smell. Um, fun fact, that's actually a real story. That's I mean, gross. It's, it's a song and it's a real thing that'll happen to you. <laughs> that, like, that if is, you that'd be pretty grody. No, like I've done conventions where like I'm like, this mic smells, you know, <laughs> like like who used this before us, you know? Why does this mic smell? Somebody can, can can I unscrew this? This mic doesn't come apart, but most mics you unscrew the top, and I'm just like ew. So yeah. Anyways, anyways, ew. Because we're talking about fast food today. Uh, we'll probably just get into it because I, I I don't think that we need to go into updates and all that bullshit. Uh, mainly because the, the, we're all pretty much all, all our guests here except for myself and uh i'm sure we'll squeeze in a lot of in-between nonsense uh right off the bat so for those who don't know how this works we're gonna we're gonna go over about 30 or so restaurants and we're basically gonna fight over where they get placed um none of you have been actually janet's been on a tier list before but besides janet um basically it's gonna be like whoever has the strongest opinion we will do averages but honestly it's who i mean not strongest opinion whoever has the strongest will will get their way <laughs> Like, literally, it's like, you, you know, I, I think that's S. I think that's F. Maybe we'll put it in C. Maybe we'll just argue and it still ends up in S. We'll see. We'll literally see as we go. Um, I assure you everyone will hate our decisions because it doesn't matter what we do. Everyone has an argue, has something to say about them. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to th throw something in the bottom. By the way, hi, YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch Live, go ahead and yell at us there. And, uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. Do you want to go alphabetical? Is it, do you want to pick anyone? See their favorite restaurant. You want to start with your favorite, Josh? I'll start with you since you're uh, we're picking on you. I guess. Okay. Um. First, I wanted to say to Princess Q or Q, it's um Domino's Pizza. That's what I'm currently eating at the moment. You're eating pizza? I I didn't. Sorry. I, I maximized the thingy, but I I, I have. A... 
covering all. Oh, I see I've been eating the pizza. <laughs> Um, is that a deep dish or is that a normal pizza? It's a normal, but there actually is a deep dish place here that's called Cubbies. Total oh. reference to the Chicago Cubs. It's oh. pretty dope here in Bakersfield. It's one of its nice, unique things. It's so deep. Even, like, I cannot fit the, <laughs> the, the, the what's it called? The, the small, they have personal and small, so I go for a small because I'm fatty sometimes. But, yes, I cannot fit that thick down my throat. It's just impossible, man. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's just so oh much, and it has like, it, it, I believe, her, like I just believe all you. over it, like a whole ass. I layer. believe in you. Well, if we're talking about this movie, we should do Domino's first. <laughs> okay. Then you got a big a mouth. Then you can like, do it. Which one of these is like a straight up favorite? And you want me to just throw it in there and? Oh, so you start. You start. Yeah, you go and start. Popeyes. We're gonna do Popeyes. 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 I'm gonna go with that because that chicken sandwich is no joke. The best I have had their chicken. Yeah, that's just fucking godlike. Dude, yes, it's like all good. This is How pretty. It's pretty godlike. It's always good. It's always big. And it's like it is consistently it massive. Then they give it to you in that bag, that like aluminum paper bag, and they seal that. And mm. yet the chicken stays mm -hmm. crunchy. Yeah, that shit got like juicy in the inside. Also juice. Like I live in Koreatown now. And there's like six Korean fried chicken places and a Popeyes. And nine times out of ten, I just go to the Popeyes. No, no, I don't think Popeyes is bad, but I don't think it's like that great. You, you're all gonna hate me for no, this. no. You, you shut up. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. That shit's good. I'm gonna say this right that now. That shit's fucking hella good. I prefer KFC over over. Uh, no, no, that is bullshit. I don't like crispy, crunchy chicken. You like weird, soggy chicken. Good shit. All right, Manuel. That, yeah. That's why Manuel smelling pee. Okay, this is the reason why Manuel smelled pee because he's over here on like KFC's better than Popeyes. I guess it does all taste the same if you smell the pee, right? <laughs> I know, it smells like. Damn. And also, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. That, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of a meme I saw. And I know the meme was about churches, and it's all. There's a meme about church's chicken I saw the other day, where it's all like, I ain't never seen a church's chicken like in a safe area or whatever. That's my lo that's my feeling on Popeyes. Like a lot of times when I go to Popeyes, I have to go to like. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not talking shit about this. I grew up in a I grew up in the sketchy of the sketchy neighborhoods, called it home. So I'm not trying to talk shit about everything like that. But I always look at Popeyes as like, mm, like what I, the ghetto? Yeah, mm? just, just say it, man. Just say it. You say it's the ghetto. <laughs> the ghetto. And it that's it. Like, it was also the place that I used to go to not even that long ago because like they used to have that deal on Tuesdays or Thursdays where you get like two pieces for like a dollar or some shit like that. And so we would get like 20 pieces and that was what we ate, you know, because it was so cheap. I don't know. What do you guys say? What, what, what ranking? You can give it this S. Oh, I, I don't think it's S because I think S is here. I think it's more of an A tier. I don't think so. Like, I really love them, but I think it's an A tier. And it's specifically Honestly, because oh. of the chicken sandwich. Their stuff was okay. And I liked it better than both Church and um, and KFC. But just, <laughs> like, they got that on their menu. Like, here's how good it is. I don't like mayonnaise, okay? I don't oh, like yeah. mayonnaise. So I'm literally eating that chicken sandwich with just pickles and the patty. And it's still juicy as fuck, man. So, like, you know, that it's just so damn good. But then the other stuff is cool. I mean... How can you not like your chicken without a kick, even at mild? Like, there's, there's the chicken mm -hmm. is soggy at KFC. The chicken at church just can't be blasphemous. So it's at least not KFC, <laughs> but like it's not doing anything <laughs> impressive. It's like Christian music. So like, you know, it's 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 like there. And then there's just uh, Popeyes, which is good. But like because of that sandwich, I'd say it's an A tier place. So that's where I put Popeyes at. I, I, I would, I would, I would put Popeyes hands down at an S. Like their fried chicken is good, and if you get the chicken tenders instead, they're always it always says, "Oh, it's twelve chicken tenders." They cram that thing with like twenty every time. Every what, time actually, wait, I get that box, I'm like, "There's twenty of these motherfuckers in here. I love this." Hold up, I need mashed to be potato real, gravy, though. good. I need to be real. Like I really like Popeyes, but I gotta be real. Sometimes. Like, the tenders are good, but if you get other things in their menu, they won't size it up the way they should. I have literally gotten some things from Popeyes where they just mm. won't fill it up the way they advertised. Oh. 
But that's what has me off because sometimes you'll get the good advertise, sometimes you'll get the bad advertise. So but you that's hit or miss. If, yeah. That's mainly I mean, if you're I... doing the whole, oh, I just got off of lunch, but I want to like buy something for like five or six dollars. And so that's why you get like that. But you feel cheated. So then for like the eight dollars, you do their chicken sandwich, which I really enjoy and it's consistent. But like I think that's where it normally goes with in terms of fast food. It's like, what can I get at a price I'm normally solid with? And that's what I do. But that's just me. But if you're always getting the S tier experience, by all means, do the S tier because well, like I am not S-tier against Popeyes S-tier being any lower than A. Well, I think we're gonna do 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 are you fine with A Warren? Yes, I'm down with A. I think we'll settle not with this a. KFC bullshit you oh, be well, pushing, we're, I. We're doing, we're gonna do KFC next. You know, that's not my favorite. We're gonna do KFC next to get out of the way. So we're already hold on, up. hold on, hold on. Is the chicken sandwich like eight bucks in California? Yes, the chicken. Uh, how much is it in Texas? Dollars. Actually, uh, at, at yeah, how the, much is it in Texas? So at the Popeyes next to my house, they had a deal, and it's still going for twenty five dollars. You got four sandwiches, four tenders, and a large side. Hey, what? Okay, oh, okay, what? What is this? It's Texas, yo. I mean, not Texas. What is it? What is it? Korea? Okay. Okay. It's Korea. Really I mean, a deal on them. What the hell? Going, that's why we're I'm going like, to K-Town. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, fucking. I, I yeah, I live walking cool. distance to Koreatown here in Texas, and yeah, that Popeye is up the street. I'm like, the chicken sandwich combo has always been like Texas. six. It's six bucks, which is not that far off but like Ooh. yeah that that deal of four sandwiches That's four so chicken good. tenders and a side i'm like the combo is six dollars like the regular the regular one is six dollars for the combo big and juicy Texas likes to make everything big so i'm reading uh, the chat yeah, i swear that's so cool <laughs> oh, oh man, that's god like ready well, to never starve like, ever again I, I will say <laughs> that i am getting a consistently s tier experience from the from my local popeyes okay. Yeah, I am okay with putting it in the A tier because we'll I understand. Yeah, we'll leave it in A, but apparently, if you go to Janet's, if it's Texas, Popeyes, it's an S. Yeah, it's an S tier. <laughs> yeah, apparently, it's an it's S tier, yo. It's because we're it's the proximity to New Orleans. If you go to the one in New Orleans, New Orleans. it's you know, it's the funny. best. It's funny because um, um, K- now KFC, like you guys mentioned, the the, the soggy chicken or not crisp. They used to, I don't think they have it anymore because at least. Uh, I don't see it advertised as much, but they used to have the, the extra extra crispy, where it was just like crispy on top of crispy, which I will admit, if you didn't eat right away, it could get soggy. But I used to love that. I'm not sure if mine just doesn't have that, or if they just don't do that anymore in general. Um, I love K- we're talking about KFC real fast. I love their biscuits, love their sides. Um, I don't know. I just I, I love KFC. I don't think it's a. I'll be real though. I was nice in giving you the A. I think both. Popeyes and KFC are both like B tier. If I was really being honest, um, I, actually no, fuck it. I'm gonna say KFC is an A. It, it, it's, on right, whoa, whoa, it's on the same whoa, level. Whoa, 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 hold the, hold the fuck what up. What are you saying? Hold the it, fuck it's up. It's no. the same as Popeyes. It's at least no. You are not way. putting no, the same tier. Yeah, it is not. I think back everything. It I is not. Trying. I was trying to be civil and nice. Like fuck it, we're starting early. I, I, I'm, I'm about to say, defeat your ass, huh, Manuel. Okay. How dare you? Yeah, no. I'm gonna say that. The highest you're getting out of me so far is a D on oh my God. on what's it called Come KFC on. man. Well, That's not any of my first choices for, for for fast food. And I tried, I tried, but what happened was I was blinded by the the JRPG like, like dating simulator, and I went oh. to go and buy those oh, mac on. You and cheese me about that. And give chicken it things. Okay. <laughs> And you know what's sad? You know why they advertise that in their game? It's the best thing on their menu, and even the best thing on their menu can't consistently be good all the time. How could they do that? I don't know, man. <laughs> what letter are you going to give it, Janet? KFC. Probably a high D, low C. What is with you guys, George? Yeah, I give it a, cause I give it a C, too. KFC stopped serving cornbread and they closed down all of their uh, buffets. And not even in Kentucky is KFC that good. Now, I will admit, this is actually, this is, uh, we talked about this very briefly and it's way off topic, but just, uh, if you go to KFC, if you go to KFC in Taiwan or in Japan, they're both really great and really different. We're not okay. judging those. Okay, that's the, that's the only reason they got up a grade was because of Taiwan and Japan, but none of us are like there. And I'm pretty sure that in their respective states, they are A tier. But the fact that that's literally how much in America. the whole world versus <laughs> the rest. Like, 
What is okay. that? Uh, I'll take the L because we're still early enough. I'll put that on the CJD, and I, 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 I'm, I have to raise it out of the D at least because I raised it an A. I'm I actually fucking ever get an S. I'm just going down uh, with the ship. I say it's S tier, but you're gonna argue with all these Ds. Yeah, the Ds. Um, just put it as a, a, a C. Fuck I guess. You, man, you. Damn it. Okay, Warren, what's your favorite restaurant? Pick one. Let's let, let's move this chisel on the ribble. Don't... We're already talking Wait, about it. Popeyes. Popeyes is the last godlike thing I've had in a while. Popeyes. Well, I'll hold on. This is really good. Before, before we continue, continue this I just gotta say, Manuel, like, for as much as you love KFC and as much as we don't like it, how could you not just let it go and give KFC the D. The D? No, D. KFC does not get the D. <laughs> uh, did, you guys, did you guys see that movie that Mario Lopez played? The K- okay, I will admit. Oh, man, that thing was great. <laughs> I, I will say this, though. I don't like um the, the Wendy-fication, for lack of a better way to describe it, that KFC goes to. For some reason, it feels very neat. Like, uh, very, not me, too. That's that's something else. Very also ran. It feels very like, hey, I, I want in on this, and they they hired a, a young like uh, you know college student to like make the colonel into like Wendy's, you know Wendy's Twitter or whatever. But that's another story. Food, I still say it's an S tier, but like fuck it, I'm not gonna die on this hill too much because my S tier, and I'm picking mine right now. My my true All favorite right. on this entire list is Carl's Jr. That's my S. Okay, I like Carl's Jr. too, dog. Not gonna lie, I like Carl's Jr. too. That's the hill. Okay, you know what? If if, if, hold, if I'm pi- if I'm picking, if I'm picking. We'll go Subway. Let's go, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, Subway. Okay. We're having we're going to Subway. Here, no, Let's no, no, go no, there, no, man. No. You said, Warren, you picked your favorite one. And since we already picked my favorite one, I'm going to pick anyway. And we're going to Subway because we're going to, you know, very charted territories for you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two, two things real fast. One, let's get this Carl Jr. thing out of the way. Because for, for those who don't know, by the way, that my, my right. background Carl's is the Jr. Carl Jr. in Akihabara. <laughs> so it's the Weeb Carl Jr. Um, but before we get, oh, also I didn't mention this earlier. What's also weird about the the Carl Jr. in Akihabara is that's one of the few restaurants you can go to in Japan at all. That's only one story because usually, like, you order your food one place and you have to like go upstairs to eat it. So it's it, it's very American. The whole thing's American. And I, whenever I talk about how American it is, I always forget to mention the fact that it's one story. Anyways, anyways, I'm finishing a story that you guys didn't even hear it live. Um. Before we move on to the subway thing, let's get the KFC, the, the Carl Jr. thing out of the way. Janet, what do you give Carl Jr.? Do you have them there? Carl I have Jr. not is seen there. one here. Is it? Well, you had it before. Am I just not looking? Oh, 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 I mean, oh, I had oh. it like in they Vegas. When I lived in Vegas, I've definitely eaten at a Carl's Jr. Yeah. Well, what um, did you give it? I doubt you give it an S. I'm just like, I just love Carl's Jr. Like, like a high C. Like, it's, it's fine. That if I'm near one and people are like, let's go grab some, I'm like, okay. Like, it's it's inoffensive, but it's not something I go out of my way to go obtain. Well, uh, well why are my views so different than everyone else's? Uh, Josh, what do you say, Carlos Jr.? Because you're a I'm boomer. Be you bad taste. They are consistent with their taste. It's pretty dope. I like that they got the unbelievable options. Chicken. But, but look, dude, it's like the reason it's not one of my first is because like if I'm like doing my lunch period time, it's like the most expensive option almost that I feel for it comes from a Car- what's it called Carl's yes. Jr. It, so like, know, like it is, it is like it's the kind of place that like I don't know if you guys get coupons like where you live, but it's the kind of place that I don't think I've ever oh, spent yeah. menu price because like. It is pretty pricey on the menu, and I always use coupons whenever. Yeah, I go. coupons. Like those are the. That's the place definitely I, I, where I, I feel admit, like I want I my coupons. That is an odd more. thing. That is an odd thing that I never think about that. That like until you brought that up. That I feel like I've ever eaten there. And like yes, I want a famous star with cheese, and I'll never order it off the menu. I'll have my coupon. Like yes, I want my. Uh, I want this, and it comes with a free fries and a coke. You know, kind of thing. So yeah. So I put it Anyways. at B because of that. Like, it, it's say, good, but I feel like it's the priciest option out of all these guys. It is. What do you say, Warren? F. I forgot if you said that. No! Whoa. You wouldn't I just, say that. No, no, I say that it's a B, it's B tier. Okay, so we got a, we got two Bs. You said C, and I said S. How'd you, wait, hold on. Why is it S for you, though? I fucking That's love it. That's the real it. question. It's like, okay, oh, oh you're, you're right. Okay, Um, I love the burgers. They're, they're really good. Um, in my opinion, at mm-hmm. least, and I also really love the chicken tenders. 
which nobody really talks about on theirs. Like, I've never really had the chicken sandwiches, but the chicken tenders are really good. Um, also, yes. Uh, is there another no, 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 here? Continue, continue, continue. Uh, oh, it's kind of getting choppy. What happened? Oh, shit. It looking, it's looking a little choppy. Okay, it's back now, I think. There's some, okay, there's no, okay. Yeah. You're good. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna no, go you're fine. To, to get you look all right. <laughs> yeah, it looks fine now. Um, it looks fine for now. That's always the decision. Like oh, we'll go with we... it now. Anyways, um, uh, the, the chicken's good. Also, I know we're not reading the green burrito, but they also technically most of them, at least in my area, also have the Mexican yeah. food side, which is pretty good too. It's also pricey for what it is. Like, we should really rate the green burrito on its own, but it's also like it's weirdly more expensive than Taco Bell, but it's definitely different. But um, anyways, anyways, S tier. But but since since we're we are so varied, I guess we'll place it at a B. I like I think it's B. Like like it's like it could it could have been a like an A tier for me, but every time That's I go, it's like it's just it's just good enough. It's just like it's just good. It's <laughs> never like really great. You know what I mean? It's it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I'm never I, mad. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would not say no. Like, like I think that's what you, Jan, Janet, you said. Someone said, "Let's go, Carl's Jr." I would not. I'll be like, "All right, cool," <laughs> and I'll go for it. <laughs> I will not complain. Now, Subway, on the other hand, Subway, like that Warren was saying, I don't like Subway. For for those who don't know, I worked at Subway for a very long time. Like, not a very long time. It actually wasn't that long. But I worked at a lot of different subways, like, because they're all owned by the same owner. So I worked at a lot of different subways for about a year on and off. Um, it was my youth job. One of them, I guess. I also worked at like a bookstore and some other places. But um, I don't like Subway. And I never really liked it before, even still now. I think it's surprisingly expensive for what it is. That's always been my big issue. Uh, and, yeah, I just don't like it. If I was being just... I don't even have a lot to say about it. I just don't like it. I think it's not good. And I, I don't like that there's so many of mm. them. If I had to rank it, uh, if I had to rank it at all, I would give it a C because I don't think it's horrible. But I don't think it's special. It's like definitely like the it's like the Walmart of fast food. In all, take that all the goods and the bads. You kind of know what you're getting at each one, but I don't think what you're getting at each one is good. Anyone else have any opinion outside of the C? Um. Okay. It's kind of hard because we have fucking KFC and C, and I don't even acknowledge that right there. But like, um... okay, that's because I gave it an S, so that the that was a compromise C. I just want everyone to know. Okay, but here's here's my take on why Subway is C. Um, it's not as good, I think, in the taste department as Carl's Jr. Technically, and when you have other oh. options of sandwiches, it's kind of bland. But at the yeah. same time, it's not doing its job badly. You do get exactly what you want. And if you do want, like, I, I like their pastrami sandwich, and it is a little higher there. So I feel everything is about as reasonably priced as you expect. So I don't think you could go wrong. The only thing that keeps KFC from being higher is the is the fact that their soups are not consistent at all locations. Because well, we if they were, I'd put them at a B so I could always walk in, grab that bacon potato, like, chowder <laughs> thing because it's delicious. But no, the closest one Big to me has that away. cheddar, like, broccoli. Like, you, like it wouldn't be a shame if it was a good cheddar broccoli, but it is, like, the worst cheddar broccoli ever. What happened? Like, how? How? <laughs> um, but yeah, either way, I'd say it's a, it's a C. It does its job good, but it's neither, like, above or, be, or below what you expect. It's, um, <laughs> it, it is good. It is good. But, what yeah. do you think, Jan? this uh, with probably my subway. favorite really uh subway story oh your go. favorite subway story go, go 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 so go so uh the evo that taquito won the grand finals for street fighter he celebrated by oh, eating at go. the overpriced subway at the mandalay bay <laughs> which was pure comedy subway is a Eat d fucking wood subway is a d is... subway is a d Okay. It's not I'm good. Not gonna lie. I, 
I was I oh. kind of like, I'm being too nice this whole podcast. Like I've been like ranking things lowered for the fuck of it, and I should have given Subway a D, but I'll, I'll stay with the C for now. Warren, what do you say? Uh, I'll give it a C yeah, too. Basic. I, the uh, only thing I like is the sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Okay, no, that's the only thing that I like. I'd be that's down for. But it's like it's a You're right. Like, uh, like 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 my my girlfriend gave it a D, uh, saying it's basic. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm well, gonna change mine to a D too. I'm gonna give the what? audience no, to the no, D. No, hold up. So I leave that D. I don't up. mean for it to go D. too low. So what? No, no, no. no. Manuel, what the fuck? I'm so I upset that wow. it's KFC right now. How is this even possible? It's below KFC. I what know. the hell? There you go. Now, now we're arguing about the oral list. Let's move on. Did my girlfriend do this? There we go. Did she do this? I thought she was just sharing the thing in the comments. I didn't know that was valid. Evil Asian 3000. Is that way? Is, is that, yeah, is that Evil her? Asian 3000? Yeah, Asian, um, Evil Asian 3000. Like, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I mean, um, Janet, did you take a pick and then we'll just go like more alphabetical after this? Pick one and then we'll go from there. What's your favorite or whatever on here that stands out to you, Janet? Janet's like. Bye, yo. <laughs> this is what bye. happens. We pick, we made it, we made it D tier, and all of a sudden, Janice is like <laughs> deuces. Well, let's move the dominoes in the meantime. Oh, she really did eat. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, She'll be back. She'll be back. Hopefully. Oh, there she goes. I heard something. Woo! Her leaving. Yeah, back. Jenna, are you back? Oh, Jenna is back. Jenna. She said, just call oh, me back. Oh, okay, Janet. What a pain that was. I had to actually switch to my phone. My Chromebook has decided Discord is too much. Mm. Well, it's a little more smooth on your phone anyway. Hello, Diana. Um, yeah, I, I got to figure out the Chromebook or break down and buy a computer. But I just bought a house. Things are expensive. We do not have a computer. But anyway. What, anyway. What do you, what do you I mean, a house is more important than a motherfucking computer. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> what you pick out on this list for your, for your first one? That is um, true. I... Did well, I mean, work, work, gave, work gave me their computer, so. But I'm going to pick Jack in the Box because, man, Jack in the Box. Um, Jack in the Box, I think, has one of the just most wildly varied menus you can get without without it being bad. Like, I'm looking, they sent me coupons in the mail today, speaking of coupons. And, like, they're advertising the spicy tiny tacos. You know what? They're $3. They're bright red. I shouldn't <laughs> eat these. But you know what? I want 15 tiny shitty tacos for $3. Like, they leaned into... Like, their burgers are pretty good. Their breakfast stuff is actually really good. But they leaned so hard into stoner mm. munchies that you're able to go to this place, get popcorn chicken, curly fries, <laughs> egg rolls, shitty tacos, and a burger? And yeah. their prices are real good? Oh, and they also have all-day breakfast. So you could, like... Yeah, they I had all-day breakfast yeah, before all-day breakfast was a yeah. thing. They, they were just they like, you want food. eggs at 3 p.m.? We got you. Yeah, here, have your fucking egg and sausage sandwich. Here you go. We got you, bro. Here's your breakfast jack or whatever they call their breakfast sandwich. Yeah. But, yeah. A lot of the locations are open 24-7. Like, I don't know about right now, but they used to be. Yeah. And um, just every... I'm going to put them at, like, an A... Maybe a B, because, I mean, if Popeye's is A, I'd put them at a B. I'm actually going to give them an S for the fuck of it. Um, I, it's, this is how good they were to me. Uh, when I was younger, I used to get sick all the time eating that eating there. That was my Taco Bell. Like That that was like almost a meme to me and my friends. Oh, I got sick eating there, but I keep going back. Then, I'm not even joking about this. You can Google it yourself and look it up. Then it turned out that apparently there was this huge salmonella scare at Ed Carl Jr. and everyone was getting sick and people died. So I'm like, was that why I was getting sick for like you know all those weeks that I just kept eating there anyway? But I never stopped. And then they fucking came out with that the character, the Jack character, because they actually came out with that like the get new PR because you know like whatever and I, I have never looked back I, I fucking love uh, Carl Jr. and Janet oh, yeah. you mean the Jack in the Box you keep seeing you keep saying Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Jr. Say Carl Jr. <laughs> sorry sorry Carl Jr. is not yeah. a character Jack in the Box Jack um, in the Box yeah they have they have the fun they have the fun car antenna things they have the fun yeah. ads they have a like I'm looking at these coupons right now do you remember the mini cheesy boys 
Oh god, the mini cheeseburger. Because like in the cafe, yeah. ultimate cheeseburger, like me. I didn't remember the song goes, but there was like they made a Backstreet Boys like parody group. They're called the Meaty Cheesy Boys. So I'm yeah. I'm look I'm looking at some of these coupons right now. Two for six sourdough jacks, one dollar five Jack piece nuggets. Oh yeah, Jack in the Crack. I heard a lot, and I was like, <laughs> what? I don't get it. I want to go Jack in the Box. They also used to. Have, I don't think they have them anymore. They used to have mini churros. I used to really like. It, they like, still have mini churros. It, it's just, yes. it, it, the They're still there. Just, it just leads. It just leans into the whole. What the fuck is this menu? It, it oh yeah, kind they. Of, it feels like the they kind of were menu like, okay. hates. Yeah, they were like, okay, we're gonna have burgers and some chicken and I guess a bunch of weird fried foods. Yeah, dude. dudes, tacos, oh. churros, and mm-hmm. egg rolls. Clearly Mexican. Absolutely yeah. Mexican. They also have the teriyaki <laughs> bowls and shit like that. It's all weird. <laughs> So I'm gonna give it an S. We have a B. Oh, you said B, right? I forgot what you said already. But, yeah, I'm I mean, with... if, we're... if sorry, I was gonna butt in. I'm with uh, Fotaku on this one. Just like it's clearly a Mexican restaurant because what is an egg roll if not a Chinese chimichanga? Chinese <laughs> <laughs> chimichanga. <laughs> 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 that is true. That is true. It's a bit more. I'm um... gonna say Jack and the Crack is an A for all the opinions already listed. Like yeah, I, I it's just kind of a... yeah. What, what, what do you say, Warren? What do, what do you give Jack in the Box? Jack in the Crack? It's a B for me, too. We'll give this an A because I think it's a nice like median. Because yeah. I gave it an S and then everyone else mm-hmm. gave it B's and A's. So yeah, we'll give it an A. Uh, apparently nothing's ever going to get in the S because we're never going to all agree on one. Um, oh, we're going to get something in S. Oh, we'll and see. you fucking know what we're putting in S, so shut up. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what it's we're Chipotle, It's Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Oh, okay. reused pizza slice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Honestly, honestly, um, I, I have an order from the, the whole recently. pizza is literally just a whole bunch of pieces of other pizza of, of like of old pizzas, and they just put it together. Yeah, <laughs> Throw some cheese on top of it to <laughs> to hide the slices, like the cuts. Actually, actually, it's funny. They recently said that. Technically, well, not they. They're saying that that was never a thing. But like, apparently, Matt Pat with Game Theory oh, said yeah. that their cutter is such shit that it literally fucks up the pizza slices. Yeah, because apparently, <laughs> it's all. apparently, it's not a cutter in in the definition at all. Like, it's just like a big rolling piece of metal. So it's just like it cuts by the it cuts by the force of like you just doing this as opposed to actually being sharp. So, like, that's why it, like, smushes pieces together, brings pieces apart. Yeah, apparently it just fucks everything up. Which is wild, weird, and get a real fucking cutter. Like, I, I know you guys cater to, like, you know, kids. And technically there would be kids working back there. But you could give a fucking teenager a fucking big piece of big blade. I, I fucking work with nine. I mean, if they do it at regular pizza places. Yeah, just do it. Just I don't see why they're so scared to give a big... Bl- or just get a pizza roller cutter. You don't like, need... Chuck E. Cheese serves alcohol. They can give a teenager yeah. a proper pizza cutter. And you can stop... stop all these wild like, come theories. on <laughs> i actually um I, I ordered a lot i haven't ordered from them like this year at all but like last year when the start of the pandemic happened um they had the whole thing with uh pasquale's like you know the fake chuck e cheese um where they were it was just chuck e cheese but they, they had they had rebranded it to like an adult version so that people would order from them. um i like i think when i like, but Pasquale's raise it to a C, and I don't know if I should do that, but I'm gonna leave it at a C, C for Chucky. E. But yes, by the way, do you know his name is Charles Entertainment Cheese? Yes. Did you know wait, that he what? dropped an album last year? No. Wait, did you what? know he's? Did you wait, what? No, his what? Current voice is the singer. Why he dropped an album last year? That's what he dropped an album. Yes. He, he the singer for Bowling for Soup. Has been the voice Chucky e. Cheese for at least ten years ish. I don't remember exactly, but yes. So yeah, he's been he's been the voice Chucky e. Cheese for a. Let's see, for Chucky, e. and uh, what is that? What else? I can't e. remember the last time I've before. eaten at a Chucky e. Cheese. <laughs> they exactly. don't let you. Um, like I'm glad Pasquale's is a thing because they oh, don't yeah. let you into Chucky e. Cheese if you don't have a child. Yeah, I didn't know <laughs> that. I, I went there with a friend of mine. Um, like a wee friend of mine, I went there with um. Wait, oh, oh, oh! Crash came back. Sorry, oops. <laughs> um, I I went there with 
I went there with a friend of mine for her birthday, and um, and we well, she wanted to go there, and she her birthday the, the, it was a little more recent, but I think she was turning like twenty one, and we went there, and they didn't want to let us in. Yeah, and we, they ended up letting us in, and then once they did, we felt weird because it's like, oh, I kind of see why it's a bunch of kids, and we're the only people. But I remember specifically, there was a time where they, but then again, this is moms. But there was a time where they were trying to advertise it to like moms, like who left their kids somewhere and they were just going there to drink. Because there was a commercial they they came out with a few years back where like the moms were checking out the, the teenagers who worked there, basically. Whoa, yeah, which is kind of like whoa. Uh, whoa. I'm not even making whoa. This whoa. Making the fuck weird up. ass advertising. Wait, these, these are real whoa. commercials where like the moms were there. The mom, there were no kids. The moms were just there, like being moms eating a chicken cheese. They're like, oh, you see, check out that server over there. And it's like, wait, that server is probably a kid too. Stop Bro. looking at the server. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop into a DJ for that. <laughs> that, that commercial. It's a real commercial, but that commercial tripped me out. Anyways, D Chuck E. Cheese. What did everyone else say? Okay. D overwhelmed the fact that like he dropped or Chuck E. Cheese dropped a really good album last year. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Josh? Uh, it's hard for me because uh, I've only eaten there when I was a kid, and I thought that their all meat pizza was godlike. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't know. It's kind of hard. I just haven't been there recently, but I will say it's I'm hard when you don't got a kid. <laughs> exactly. Like you need a kid to go there. Like you borrow a kid from someone. Like if you have any nieces or nephews. Like yeah, you're, you're like, like, can I borrow I just, your kids? Can I just order takeout? Like, do I really that's need a what kid? Qualies is for. Yeah, that's what Qualies. Basically, that's the only thing you can do. You could pick up like some takeout, or you could. Or you, but I fucking want to play Mario Kart while I eat. You know, after my pizza's done. Okay, if we're doing that, I'm just gonna give it a C then. Exactly. That's not the it. same. <laughs> so what do you give them? I know we're eating food anyway, not like. My girlfriend said F. It's disgusting. Are so you, you could drag me. Too? You could drag my vote now down to a D or E. Either of the two now. Oh, I put it at an E, yo. You know what? I'm putting we're that getting, shit in the E. We're putting it in E only because that's just an odd letter. I don't think we'll ever get to an E. <laughs> we'll never get another E because like F. Um. Uh. <laughs> the E stands for E tier. Yeah. Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> that was a bad joke. That wasn't even a joke. That was just me saying E. Um, let's go to let's go to churches. Let's, let's, let's get the chicken places out the way. Um, it's funny because when I was younger, I hated their their um, their their biscuits because their biscuits are like honey honeyed. Um, but I grew to like them. I actually like their their biscuits. My one problem is is that mean in my life at least is real. Um, about never seeing a church is in a safe location. Um, no, you're right. Popeyes, but I still like their chicken. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that churches and, and Popeyes are owned by the same people. Fun fact. That's like a. I don't. A I don't think they are. I think they are, or they were. I, I should like say this more accurately. Um, because like for, for the record, I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of restaurants are owned by the same people. Like I know for a fact that Taco Bell. KFC and Pizza Hut are all owned by the same people. Like, well, yeah, London. how else would you how else would you go to the combination Pizza exactly. Hut and Taco Bell? <laughs> exactly. And that, that's, you know those and also Long John Silver's is in there too. But you also know that specifically because you can go to these weird combos where like, yes, I would like an extra large cheese pizza and a crispy chicken sandwich and a fucking burrito. <laughs> you know? I don't know if you can do but, that because that, that sounds that sounds really annoying if you work there because it's like did they really just order from all the menus you know? <laughs> but anyways, um, I forgot what we're talking about. We're restaurant. We're talking churches. <laughs> I, 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 give, I give churches uh um only because Popeyes is uh, we gave it an A and I kind of uh, you know I put churches a C for church. I agree. It's a C. Yeah. 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 It's pretty much yeah. a C. Yeah. I don't care for a church's yeah, chicken too much either. Honestly, I don't like their like I, I have no opinion at all on their chicken. It's just like on their their, their side they kind of have some mild opinions on. Mainly that they're okay. <laughs> it's... Um what are the chicken places that are on this list that we're missing? We'll do Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Here we, we go. Exactly. How do we okay? I'll be real without even touching the political side of it. I've never liked Chick fil A. Um, um, I think their sand like I think their waffle fries genuinely good. Yes, their sandwiches. The fries yeah. are good. Hey, thank you for bringing that up. Thank you for 
Carl's Jr. has better waffle fries, in my opinion. They're called Chris Cut in, at Carl's Jr., though. But, yeah, I, I think that they have better ones. I didn't even mention that when talking Carl's Jr., that they have Chris Cut fries. But I don't like Chick-fil-A. Like, when I was younger, they were a mall food place. Like, it's only recently, like, the past, like, like not recently. It's only, like, the past, like, since I was an adult that they started having standalone locations, especially where I live. But it was always a mall food court place, and then it just blew up out of nowhere. And um, in, in a mall, I would hate that they would close on Sundays, which kind of leads to the political thing. But I'd always hate that they would close on Sundays because that was one of the days I would go to the mall. And then when I tried it, I'm like, okay, this is expensive. And it's like, eh, I'd rather go to KFC. Yeah. <laughs> even though, even um, though KFC didn't have chicken sandwiches back then. So <laughs> as a person who grew up in Las Vegas, I just related to the political thing. Like, we just did not have Chick-fil-A. Oh. Hmm. Like... They were adamant about never putting one oh, in Nevada. I didn't even think about that. That's yeah, I know. So like, I think oh, the yeah. first, I think the first time I can actually remember having it was probably when I was in college because I went to college in Ohio. Hmm. And I was like, oh, it, okay. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna cut to the chase oh. real fast. That raising Kings <laughs> is not on this list, but uh, the. Uh, nearby where I live, they opened a Raising Cane's literally next door to uh, uh, a Chick Fil A, and uh, when the, the Raising Cane's opened first, and when the Chick Fil A opened, the Raising Cane's put a big ass banner. I should take a picture of it one day and post social media. They made up. They put a big ass banner in the front of their restaurant that says "All Love Is Love," and I'm like, damn, <laughs> they just calling out the fucking Chick Fil A next door. I love it because because they just they just went for it. Dude, there's a chicken there's a chicken sandwich place here. That has really good chicken sandwiches, really good custard, and like one of their selling points is we're open on Sundays. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> honestly, I, uh, I'll be real. I think Chick Fil A's food is a D, and I think they're just for the political shit. I'll, I'll knock them down to F just to be just to be funny like that. Um. Anyone else have any opinions? Um, like they're uh... they're. Their service is fine. Like their service is pretty good. Their food is nothing special, and I don't, don't understand. Like don't, honestly, I just think it's people who just like are buying into the political stuff going there. I remember um, that there was. By the way, if you don't know, like their advertising is always like this, this. This cow was always like eat more chicken, and uh, that there was a, a look. The, the same actually uh, on another direction. Uh, there was a, there was Chick Fil A that opened, and um, in Torrance, and when they opened it. Somebody had graffitied on the outside, like, taste like hate. And then the next day, that Chick-fil-A had, like, lines around the block just as a counter-protest. So I kind of feel like a lot of people who like Chick-fil-A, it's almost, it goes both ways. I feel like there's the people who hate it just because, you know, reasons. And people love it probably for the same reason. It's like, it's mediocre food, but hey, it, it, they believe what I believe. Slide over that pickle-flavored sandwich or whatever. Well, I mean, and now that now that Popeyes has a superior chicken exactly. sandwich, there's really no good reason That's to go to Chick Fil A. It's like, why go there now? It's like not not, not everywhere. I, I think even uh, McDonald's chicken sandwich is better than Chick Fil A's. I don't think it's better than Popeyes. I'm not gonna try to die on that hill, but uh, I do think it's better than Chick Fil A's. So yeah. Anyway, um, Josh, you were saying. Wait. Katie, so like, I only had it really in high school. And it was just because, like, sometimes if I had extra money and I didn't want to do the the credit system, I would sometimes just take my own money and get a Chick-fil-A sandwich because it tasted better. Um, but, like, it's kind of tough because I would give them a straight-up F because of the political shit, but their food's actually good. And the other problem with the political shit is that one of my... S tier choices does the same bullshit. Yeah. The only thing though is Chick Fil A is like very upfront about it, but go. to like they clearly don't like they don't give that much of a shit. And you'd figure some people would say like that makes them better, but it's like no, like they purposely make it apparent how they feel about that. Whereas the other one, you could just like chalk it down to like corporate interests. Like any of these could be donating to anything that we don't particularly like, but Chick Fil A has just consistently been on like just donating to like they're shitting on every they're just, fuck it yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. i would give them a c like if, realistically their food is better than in my opinion churches raising canes and kfc but you know i don't like them politically otherwise i'd give them a b but i'll say maybe a c 
you know. Um, yeah, I'd give them a, I'd give them a C too. Like I like the first time I tried it because I was just like, all right, everyone over here with the hype. So I was like, I I tried it and I was like, ah, uh, that that it's it's like it's I. Right. You know what I mean? Like I like I like their sauce though. The Chick Fil A sauce is pretty damn good. Like dead ass, that shit's pretty good. Um, so everyone but, keeps talking about the sauce in the chat too. Somebody else the mentioned sauce is pretty too. good. I have a the friend who good. buys their sauce. Like I guess they sell it on its own, like at markets. Oh yeah, I've it seen own. it. Yeah, I've seen that sauce. It's like, all over Walmart. So, uh, it's all just, over the local stores here. So uh, it's, yeah. I find it hilarious. Like I don't like, like sauces in general, so I guess that's not really the opinion I would have. But yeah. Like yeah, the sauces sauce. are good. It's just the sandwich. I mean, the, the chicken sandwich I had is like it, it's all right. You know what I mean? It's so nothing where I'm just. It's not like Popeyes, right? I would choose. I would choose Popeyes oh, way sure. before Chick Fil A, a hundred percent. And you know, that's the political stuff aside. Political shit aside, these motherfuckers could fucking. Here's the rope, buddy. Y'all lose this <laughs> business, you dumbass motherfuckers. They don't even believe. They don't even belong in this tier. If you know, if you if you hear what I'm talking about, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah. Admittedly, uh, like, like I said, okay. my, my thing was but the, for food but, as well. But this is for food, so yeah, I just give it a C. C. C, C, C. I, I, yeah, I, I give it a C. C. I don't think yeah, give it a C. 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 Like it's fine. And I think that's all the chicken. Um, By the way, if Raisin mm-hmm. Kings just show up here, I'm not really gonna like take much of a statement because it's similar to the other one. So I'm just gonna say that like it's in C tier to B just because of the toast and the lemonade. Like that Honestly, shit's fucking it, it, bomb. And, al- and also the fact that you can switch out any side for any other side. That too. Oh, you know, like, that's the so case, many French fries. Like, Raising Cane's just because of that utility, you can put I, it on B for me. Okay. Um, I've never had... Wait, are we talking about Raising Cane's right now? Yeah. I don't have Raising I mean, just real quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I've, I've actually never had it because I'm in NorCal, so... We don't. Oh, have, we were like so. So my in my city, they're building. I think they're ha- they're having one of them being built, and I was just like, I have to see. Like, is I want to see if that sauce is actually as like. It's at first, I thought good. that it was. Yeah, I like. I had some friends right that I used to work with, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it's pretty good." They're like, they're like "It's hella good." And I was like, "Man, maybe because we just NorCal people, y'all over here overhyping this <laughs> shit." And then I asked, I asked some of the the SoCal people, they're like, "Yeah, it's pretty good." And I was like, "Oh okay, I, right. <laughs> I." <right." laughs> When when I was younger, I did an internship in Buffalo, and a guy I worked with would every uh, couple months drive four hours to Cleveland, Ohio, damn. to get raising canes, That's and he would ridiculous. pay for them to give him the sauce. Like in two, he'd come back with two medium drink cups full of sauce, and I'm like, "There's no way you're gonna go through that quick enough." It. He's like, "He's like, watch me go." Like, oh, God, kind of gross. Um, no, my my only my only little statement on raising canes. Funny we spent all the time on this on the list. My only little thing about raising canes is that it's not worth the lines I always see. Oh my God, That's the lines are it, always yeah. so long. Yeah, it, 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 it's good, but I would rather go if I'm getting my tenders. I, if I was getting my tenders fast, don't get me wrong. I think there are better tender places. If I'm getting my tenders fast, I'd probably just go to Carl's Jr. Especially because the the raising canes I mentioned that opened near me is next to a Carl Jr. Also, so I would just fucking just get my tenders there, use my coupon, get it for five bucks, and then you know go home. <laughs> but um, let's see, what are some rapid fire ones we could do? Because uh, I don't think we have a lot to say about uh, that Cinnabon. We don't have a lot to say about Cinnabon, I'm sure. Yeah. Cinnabon, I think, is B or C for me. It's it's good, yeah. but it's not like I feel that over time my Love for the thing I can only buy at the mall has just gotten shorter. Exactly. It's kind <laughs> yeah. Of like yeah. It's, Chick Fil A. It's airport food. I eat yeah, that at the airport. It's a it's a B. It's a B for me. Dog. I know I said dog. <laughs> yeah, say, it's like... uh, yeah, Randy Jack. Nigga, it's a B for me, dog. <laughs> That's who mm. I was thinking. My wow. girlfriend says it's an A. And it, I say I, it's I I it just well, I mean we only get you only get fucking cinnamon rolls one day right so I mean that's exactly. like 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 there, there isn't very there isn't like the variety there isn't a, like a huge ass variety I give it a B because I fucking like it I I I, I really enjoy it the pecan bond I didn't make sure I was saying that right their pecan bond is S 
The regular Cinnabon, I think, is like a B. I love the pecan bon. Ugh, it's like car caramel and pe peckins. I call them peckins, by the way. I don't know if I've ever made that joke. Yeah. I've actually, I've actually heard people around here call them peckins, and I lost my shit. Yeah, I actually call them peckins. Like that's like the first time I said pecan in like ever. So I'm actually, why am I saying pecan? But yeah, the pecan bon. But um, anyways, so this fool said go, peckins. Like, <laughs> this fool fucking really said peckins. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's even a villager. There's even a village in Animal Crossing. One of my favorites. I don't have her in my town right now. I think I moved her out for someone else. But her name is 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 Pecan. Like you know, she she's a squirrel, and like you know, nut joke. But yeah, I call her Peckin. I call her Peckin. That's one of my favorite villagers. Like, oh look, it's Peckin. I got Peckin in my town. Pisses everyone off. And I do it for real. I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be like, oh, look at me, man. You're saying clever things. They're not clever things. Saying things differently. No, I just actually say Peckins. Anyways, B. Oh, it's already up there. <laughs> there you go. JD's like, just put it up, B. Krispy Kreme. Real fast, I guess it's donuts. Krispy Kreme's a D. I think it's... I, I, I take it back. It's a C because it gives you so many free donuts. Yeah, but they're not good. Say, that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, uh, uh, I'm my concur. local donut place is way better. I'm going to concur with that because we used to have one in Bakersfield, and then they got rid of it. And then our only way of getting them was to just wait for fundraisers to show up with these bitches from uh, Anaheim. <laughs> So I was like, "Fuck me, man! I don't want them. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna say Krispy Kreme is an S tier for knowing exactly how to get a multiple donut in your mouth." <laughs> like, I take that I'm back. I give I give Krispy Kreme a B because they also will give you a free donut every day if you show them your vaccination card. True, that is true. Oh, I have, I have here. Not gone S -tier to do that place. It's kind, of far. Yeah, it's kind of too far for me. For, it's not too far, but it's like out of the way for me to, to go to there regularly, but uh, um, I, I, would, I do like to give you a lot of free donuts. I think they're doing uh, essential so worker shit, too, donuts. over yeah. there. Like, yeah, my, my yeah actually, 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 I'm gonna give them a B, because their their donuts yeah, are yeah, not yeah, great, but man, they give them so, you get good. so many. B. B. <laughs> I give them an S, just for the, the regular donut, glazed, warm as fuck. I travel Especially when it comes fresh. Oh, Dude, so when they're fresh, they go. give you I'm one free. They're like, here you go. Guys, so godlike. Chris McKinnon gets an A. Um, okay, we're not doing Hardee's because we discussed it here already. Uh, sorry, it's, I'm, uh, I'm like, oh, Duncan, Dunkin' Donuts. I'm, I'm trying to get to some of the easy ones that are her small menus. Are California uh, allowed to say anything about Dunkin' Donuts? We like yeah. barely got exposed to them. Yeah. Um, but... D, no D. Only because only because they changed the name just to Dunkin'. It's not even Donuts anymore. That's the wrong logo we have on this list. The only thing that recently, what? Yeah, I'm they're not even well, well, because Dunkin they're, they're just Dunkin'. They're pulling away from the fact that they like they stopped selling just donuts. They're really known on the East Coast for coffee. People yeah. love Dunkin' coffee, and also they sell breakfast sandwiches that absolutely are garbage. Exactly. Do we rate them like, for their coffee go, or their goes there for their fucking like sausage? thing I yo, 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 hold on hold on hold, hold the fuck up though okay so i didn't know that they even made sandwiches and leslie's huh? i think leslie's uh, pair, like family they really like buying the sandwiches there and that shit was fucking it's pretty, cool, pretty aight but maybe because i was fucking hungry i'm gonna give them a tea so they remember that they also sell donuts um i'm gonna give them a d anyone else have any opinion outside of d i will uh, i have i can't say much like I, I'm, I don't remember really eating there yeah. at all. So y'all, y'all, y'all figure that shit. I, 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 they man, have worse donuts than Krispy Kreme. They, they do. They, I, I hate Kreme. their donuts more. And then my girlfriend saying that her experience was, what was it? It was the whack. Stale donuts and burnt coffee. How do you burn yeah. coffee? Oh man, that is a really discussion easy. for another time. But who, boy, yeah. can I tell you about that? Well, we'll give it. A, we'll, we'll average it out to an E then, because I actually have less. Of, I'm really <laughs> mad about the dunk. Apparently, your girlfriend's in, in this boat without me realizing it. So yeah. Um, so let's see what else is there. Oh, um, oh, um. Can, can I say something about Duncan first? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I would have been like the one person with a positive review of it, just because I went to school on the East Coast. So oh, I've seen people like who like just sandwiches or whatever who swear by Dunkin' coffee. I had oh donuts so many times at conventions, like went to pick them up, and I, I liked them. Starbucks but maybe it's just an East Coast West Coast thing. Well, Starbucks is on here. Let's do Starbucks real fast since we're talking about coffee places. Um, I actually don't like coffee, so I'm a little biased in this already. But I, for some reason, I think it's just a sign of culture. I always get um 
Starbucks gift cards for like every occasion. So I do eat there. I do get their sandwiches. I did get their sandwiches a lot just to waste the gift card. So I eat there quite a bit, even though I've never like paid given them money really. Um eh, it's a C. And I, I do like their frozen drinks. It's like just having a shake that has coffee flavor in it, basically. But yeah. I'm gonna give it a C for Starbucks. I'm gonna give Starbucks a D because their coffee is bad and See, overpriced. I don't, I don't know any other so that's all that's like the thing that everyone would know, but I, from what the their snacks are okay. They're like buying a snack from like a fucking supermarket. Like not good or bad. And then it's it's wild it's so it's wild that they have Starbucks in supermarkets that sell the snacks. Exactly. <laughs> when literally you can just go back into the supermarket, get a similar thing for like a third of the price. Exactly. Like I guess I, I, I want this like fucking thing for like four dollars. I can go buy me a cinnamon roll. It's probably better even, you know. And <laughs> I I had a friend who works at Starbucks. And she worked there, like, during the beginning of the pandemic. And she's like, we were out in the suburbs, and it's a nightmare. I get yelled at every day. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to give I'm Big gonna give Starbucks an E for, like, also just having this weird, shitty culture around it. Not necessarily Starbucks Pumpkin itself. <laughs> Pumpkin spice. <laughs> But, yeah. like, it's bad Yo, coffee, like, it's like okay-ish food, but, like, the culture around Starbucks on top of that. But since we're also not talking about the Asian ones that have all the cool merch, man, the Asians don't have cool merch. Exactly. Like, the cat paw. Oh, we have like, cool merch. Cat paw yeah, the cat thing. paw one. That one's cute. Yeah. I, want, I want that cat paw. I actually do have that cat paw one. Um, a friend of mine. That's like the Did you get a Taiwan? One. Yeah, I got a Taiwan. <laughs> So yeah, Leslie uh, was trying so, to get that one too. Yeah, it's cool. I will say same person. If you, if you ever get it, it, it's like not really weighted at the bottom, so it's actually kind of a hard cup to really drink out of. You can <laughs> tell that by looking at it. You don't really Isn't get it. Isn't it fragile? So cute. Yes, it is. You can tell by looking at it. You're not really meant to like. That's not your daily cup. <laughs> so yeah, it's there to and, look good. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, sorry. We got we got to move a little faster too. Starbucks. Uh, D. C for basic. I give it. Yeah, I give it. I give it like a C too. The only thing I like from there is there is the the brownies. That's it. Well, well yeah, we give it a C because yeah, like... I said C originally. We, we'll leave it at C. That's fair. And then Yo, I have a story about this show. This shit though, we were like, me, and my cousins, and my brother. We like my cousins came over from Georgia, and we we're all kicking it. And they're like, "Oh, what's a place that's open today?" Because I, I think it was a hall. I, I forgot what, what day it was. But they're like, "Oh, we want to go get some boba." But they're like, "Oh, boba's places might be closed." We want to go get some ice cream. They're like, okay, ice cream place is closed. We're going to go to Starbies. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah. I don't know what the fuck that is, but we're going to go. So we walk. So I remember oh, parking my car. And, I, and I, I went, okay, that, that's, that, that's the thing. So I walked in, right? Not knowing, didn't look anywhere because I was like, I, right, I'm just going to follow the people that told us to go to this place called fucking Starbies. I walked in, like, this place looks like goddamn Starbucks. And that look, it's like, it's a motherfucking <laughs> Starbucks. And I sat here and I was like, Yo, I thought we was actually going to a place called Starbucks. They're like, no, that's the nickname. I was like, fuck you guys. I'm, not, I'm actually kind of salty right now. That because I was like, I was like, dude. And then, and then later, right, my my cousin's boyfriend is like, oh yeah, I thought the same thing. I was like, bro, <laughs> like, come on, like they fucking tricked the fuck out of both of you. Both of them. They're like, you hella dumb, man, <laughs> for thinking that it was. I was like, I didn't know you guys call it Starbucks. Like, what the fuck? That's weird. There's my little story. That's why I get to see. I'm, I'm still mad. I'm still mad about I'm about that day. <laughs> okay. That's the okay. most basic, basic AF thing I have heard ever. Yeah, we have to move a little faster. I just realized, I realized the time. We have to move a little faster. So we're not going to rapid fire them. We'll, we'll try to move a little faster. Um, okay. Off the bat, we'll, we'll do like, we'll do two first. We'll do Domino's and Pizza Hut together real fast. So we can just like get those hammered out and it's easier to do one at a time. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I fucking love Domino's. Same. I'm gonna give it an S tier just because it's a really good. Honestly, their food is an A or a B, but it's it's really good. It's really well priced, and um, I I can always order from there. Like I don't know if it's because I live in an area where there's like a Domino's on every corner. It feels like, but I never feel out of the delivery area. Now Pizza Hut. 
I think their pizza is better, but I also just never really order from there. So I'm going to give them an A. So just um, that's simple. A and S. Anyone else have any opinions? Um, uh, I would put Domino's at an A. I would put Pizza Hut at a C. Okay, so one for the below me. Josh? Uh, Domino's is an A. Uh, Pizza Hut is a B. And then Little Caesars is a flat out E or F. Either of the oh, two. I'm fine with that. Oh, we're going to come back around. Ooh, yeah, Little, okay, okay, yeah. Little Caesars. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'd say Little Caesars is probably down there in, in the E oh, or F tier. Mm. Uh, um, this is where Manuel say, and I joined forces. Um, Dom, so we had Domino's. Domino's is like a B for me. And then what's what was the uh C? That Domino's da 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 da. Uh, Pizza Hut. Pizza's a B for me too. I'm down. I'm I'm down. With, like like I'm I'm down yeah, with both of them. Just not Little Caesars. Yeah. All right. Like okay, Little Caesars. I'm gonna. Not... I want to give it an S just because it's it's always faithful. Oh. Oh, what? Now, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, hold on. I'm about okay, to agree okay. Let, with Manuel let's... on this. Like, uh, okay, there's another meme for this, that meme which all like, Little Caesars is great. We don't have, like, a, like someone sitting next to you saying it sucks, something like that. I'm like, yes. It's like, shut the fuck up and eat your $5 pizza and shut the hell up. It's like, and even like, though, it's good for what it is. Like, what are you guys expecting? Always hot, always ready, always $5. Okay, but the just CEO, because... The like, paid for Rosa Parks' yeah. apartment? <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up. Like we're like Bet. literally at the opposite of the spectrum. It's like an E and S. Hold up, Manuel. Just because everyone agrees that it's bad doesn't make it good. Yeah. Like, what do you expect? It's bad. I was like, yes, and it's still bad. So I don't, I don't think it's, <laughs> it's bad. bad. Hold on, hold on. I want to get JD's opinion. We're going to break this tie. It's all or nothing. It's literally not a middle. <laughs> JD, what do you give it? Uh, I'm more with the people putting it at the lower end. I'm sorry. I like oh, I you know I, I like the availability, I but I understand I that it's not e. good pizza. E. So it's a, a D. Stop, stop, stop. Let's say we I'll put it at a D. I'll give you a D. No, we were giving it an S rank. No, <laughs> no, it's not touching that. It is yeah, not touching that. <laughs> I have spoken. I think this ex this exact thing happened last time when I I gave it an S, and I just didn't listen to everyone else. Okay, we're we're gonna we're, we're, gosh, I can't even talk anymore. I'm so frazzled. I am. Del Taco and Taco Bell. I'm so really pissed about the fucking Little Caesars. I hate you guys. Del Taco and Taco Bell. Um, Taco Bell is the best fast food America has to offer, and yeah. I will stand by this opinion until I die. First of all, you rent Taco Bell. You don't buy Taco Bell. Um, second of all, I, I don't think it's... Rent? Bad. What? Yeah, you, like, you, like, shit that shit out, like, immediately. But, uh, I'm sorry the rest of you have weird, like, bowels. I've never had that problem. But eat I, a I, vegetable. I, 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 I do like it though. Yeah, um, <laughs> she she said to I eat a fucking give, vegetable, yo. I will give Taco Bell a B. I mean, sorry, yeah, B. But I give Del Taco an S because I think Del Taco is generally better. Oh, Del and Taco is all... The fact that there's not a Del Taco here hurts me personally because Del Taco is so good. Like those like terrible. Those cheap chicken tacos they have delicious. They're ninety nine cent burritos. Yep. 99 cent burritos great the ads that they used to have with like dan the del taco guy standing out in front of the taco bell headquarters oh yeah that's random never had del oh, taco man. was it that we um, know so many people who come to this area that haven't had del taco well they're everywhere that, it's funny that q hasn't had yeah exactly uh i think that if you ever went to like the, the cons that used to be in burbank all the time this is del taco across the street so uh yeah, like like Anime California, Hentai Con, all those cons were in uh, Burbank back in the day. Hopefully cons go back. I like that area. It's like nothing out there except for that hotel and the, the place across the street. But anyways, anyways, what did I say? S and B. Uh, Taco Bell, uh, Del Taco and Taco Bell. Uh, I'd say Taco I, Bell. Would, I would flip those. I would put Taco Bell and S until the end days. <laughs> I'll say Taco Bell is an A and Del Taco is a yeah. B. I will stand by that too. Yes, T hey, Taco Bell, can, fucking pretty damn good, yo. We can give Taco Bell an A, but what is the consensus on Del Taco? Like a B? A B. It's a B. Pretty you know, good. good. Man, just take it, man. So that's fuck. A that's a DNA. That's DNA. We're not gonna get. And I'd give it an S we... too, so you're good. You know I'll put what? it an A. Hey, so it's an A. They're just an A. Okay. Hold okay, on. they're an A. We'll just, just keep it at A. We'll... I'm down. I don't need to fight for this. I'm down with it. I'm down with both that's of them. I want to cut to the chase for some of these things. We can rapid fire a few more. Do we have any agreement? Okay, does anyone just with, without any stories or anything like that? Does anyone have an, an S that they like here? 
In and out. 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 Okay, I, I, I waited well. 40 fucking minutes okay, in a go. line, okay, days on go. end, to get my mother effing. Get out of here, Get out of here. Yaru, what are you doing oh, here? Oh no, our cameras are fucked. Yeah, now. <laughs> Don't listen to Manuel. Manuel's and she's gone. Kick ass. <laughs> she left. Oh. Anyways, so does anyone else? Uh, it? So that, that's the one obvious S. Um, uh, sorry, that really threw me for a loop. <laughs> I give McDonald's an S too, and I know everyone's gonna disagree with me. There. Oh no, 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 McDonald's. Yes. No, no. Uh, sorry. Okay. McDonald's no. is made... only good in Japan, you... and Did maybe like I forget where in the where in Europe it tastes good, but like no, <laughs> McDonald's is an E tier. I'm sorry, I just oh, I've eaten it. Yeah, best. What yeah. The hell? Is... Yeah, uh, I'm this with them. I think uh, like Mickey that. D's is like to me a C. It, it, it's a C. It, it, it's it's it's. Okay, so we... next time all y'all asking for nuggies, yeah. I'm gonna be like. The fuck up, that. That. <laughs> <laughs> that's the nugget. best. Did not... That's the best part of it's not S tier. Like that's it. You know why it belongs in a D? Because when you're fucking drunk, that shit tastes good. Okay. That's the like, only I'm, thing I'm okay here with so far that makes my stomach churn. Okay. It is fucking okay. McDonald's. So very similarly, Burger King, I would give that. I wouldn't give it an S, but I would give it like a B because it's okay. Burger King, or Burger King, coupons, <laughs> just going back to the coupon thing. If you have a coupon for Burger King, you can get like five. I'm not actually. I'm not exaggerating with this. You can get like four burgers, four fries, four drinks for like ten dollars at Burger King. It's insane. It's like guys, how are you, how are you giving me all this food? What? Burger guys, King I'm... will eat all bacon, hate bacon. <laughs> what is this? I'm cheeky just... fries. What guys? Like... Josh is dying. I'm sorry. It's just my. My girlfriend, I don't know. It's okay. It's not Burger King. It's she McDonald's. She gets the real hate. Their patties are straight up Gandhi's shoe. <laughs> what? <is that? laughs> what? What does that mean? <laughs> They're dry. <laughs> She's in straight up Gandhi's oh. shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> she over. She yeah. over here with, with the G with the with the with the Jesus Josh. sandals and shit. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so where are we oh, putting Burger man. King? Sorry, no. He's got like. King, I'll give it a C. I'll give. C? I'll give it a C. Uh, yeah, B or C? What do you think? <laughs> B or C? Uh, what do you think? Wait. Wait. Burger King oh, is with like a C. C, not a C. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Burger King. I'll give is it a good. B. Burger King's all right. Okay. Okay, so we're call, like, I mean, like I'm Josh. down. Call, um, yeah. We're, we're literally half B's and C's. Okay. I called you Josh, by the way, JD. Yes, I know. You, you call me everyone else's name. It's, I'm that's getting used to it. I feel like it's just a part of for, being an A to J member now. Exactly. Just, just fucking call you whatever the hell now. Um, uh, but, 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 but real fast, I want to throw out Long John Silver's because uh, I've only eaten there a couple times, but I have eaten there because they do tie in with KFC a lot locally for me. So KFC doesn't matter. But um, I don't like fish. Um, I don't think they make good fish. They're like a D. Exactly. I was gonna say, like, I don't like fish, but I feel like they're still not good. <laughs> so a D. Anyone else disagree with Long John? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll uh, just agree with you with Long John. Yep, I'll D? agree too. Um, D? Yeah. Now, Five Guys this is an interesting one. What does everyone say about what's everyone's opinion on Five Guys? I like their fries. I think their burgers are mad overpriced. Um, yeah, they are overpriced. It's it's pretty yummy though. I, I'm, I'll, I'll give it like a. I'll give it like a. I'll give it like an a C. I'll give it an A. Because I do the like price, it a B. The price is B. Oh, the God, taste is S for me, and I guess the service is an A. I don't know. That one's hard. It's like yeah, all over. You know. Yeah. It's like you know what? Though, it's I'll like, average I feel like it. I'm at a, a sit down place. I'm like, I just wanted a burger, guys. <laughs> why, why I'll give it an A. That show was pretty good last time I had it. So with an A, we're at an A. I think you said pricey. It is pretty pricey. It agree. is hella expensive, though. We'll give it a it, yeah, it is it pretty. Just, it just knocked down for price. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Panera. Somebody said something about Panera. Let's wrap up Panera. Because somebody was talking about... Panera, oh, when was... they changed their menu to update it to be healthier, actually made their soup bad. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Panera actually. Yeah. Yeah. Feels, feels bad. Feels um, bad. I understand they were like, good for you. 
I'm gonna give they made it worse. You're like, no, I want to die. Because I have one more controversial one I want to wrap up after this, but Panera, I get a D. Anyone else? I'm okay with that. There's nothing on yeah. their menu right away where I'm like, I want that. They're also <laughs> it's always just let's let's see bless what you. happens. Bless you. Yes. Now, thank you. I have weird opinions on. Uh, what am I saying? I almost said the wrong one. Panda Express. Now, I actually like Panda Express. I don't think that they're a substitute for any other like hole in the wall Chinese food place. Apparently, a lot of people don't have those. I have like a billion of them by me, but um, but I I do think they're good. And I do like that they're like not I that badly <sighs> priced. So uh, I feel bad give, for this. I'm gonna give them an A, and probably no one else will agree with me because they're like the talk about all the Chinese food I know. I'm gonna, gonna give them a B. Give them an a. Uh, I'm gonna give. I give it a B. I yeah, actually, actually, it actually pretty. I like it. I, I kind of like it too, even though it's an I abomination. Like it. <laughs> I like it. It's good prices. You get a lot of food yeah. there. Um, they know what their target audience <laughs> wants, and it is so clean. God, it is so clean. I can't say no to the orange chicken. Exactly. Um, I actually like... And yeah, actually that orange chicken hella good, though. Dead ass. Chicken's really good, yeah. too. They have a lot of good stuff. They're Angus beef. Or Angus beef, I forget what they call it, but it's, like, it's Angus beef something, like Asian Angus beef. But um, that's a really good thing, too. They have good food. They have good food. Everyone go to Panda Express. Asian beef. So, B? B. It's a B. Oh, wait. Yeah, B. Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Everyone said B yeah. with me. Um, it, yeah, yeah it's, it's not bad. I'll be talking shit about it, but I, you still like it. <laughs> more rapid fire. It's like Sabaro. Uh, uh, Sabaro is oh, food. No. also mall food. I give Sabaro's it a C. Sabaro is like a C. It's like I a C. Because it it's, it's, it's like, it's not offensive. And I've eaten at a countless airport. So we'll give it a C. Anyone disagree? No? Okay, fine. A C. Fine, a C. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at C. Yeah. Um, give it a C. They're also a mall pretzel place for everyone's never been to an Auntie Anne's. Uh, Auntie Anne's is pretty yummy. I, prefer- I like a pretzel. Yeah, pretzel, good. pretzel is not like- on here, but I actually like them more than Wetzel Pretzel. So I'm going to give them. Auntie a Anne's is, is pretty nice. I'm only going to give them a B because I don't think they're better than Cinnabon, and Cinnabon's a B. So I'm gonna yeah, give them I'm going to agree with that logic. Yes. Yeah. So they're, they're definitely they're the same category as like you go to a mall and you. You know, I don't regret going to an Auntie Ants when I go there. Now, okay. Oh, we, we got a lot of these done. Thank God. People on okay. keto live. How do they live and go into a mall? I don't understand. It makes no you, sense. You just don't. You, you can't. <laughs> you go to hot dog on a stick and you get a bear hot dog and then you're sad a little a bit. bear hot dog. You, you get upset you can't eat with your friends. Yo, that's me. <laughs> now, I don't, uh, know, I don't know why everyone hates I'm on Arby. keto right now. <laughs> Arby should have been the first one we did because I was the first on the list. But I love Arby's and... I've only had it. Yeah, why does everyone say it's hella boo boo? I love Arby's. I'm gonna give it an, an S. I've never that. had Arby's. Is it hella good? Lie. Is it good, I, man? I, I, okay, I, man, you say it's good. It, it's definitely an A. I don't know if it's an S. I'm only giving it an S because I know everyone else hates it. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna it's a pre-empt- C. I'm gonna preemptively give it an S because I know it will be knocked down to at least an A or a B. I think. I think it's a B because hear me out. The pricing is absolute fucking C. Like that's okay, how that I feel about true. the pricing. But their taste is A. Like their taste is A. But their marketing is S tier. Like, oh, yes, marketing. The marketing, oh, so the marketing is pretty fucking S. Is 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 S tier. Dude, they had they had, an they had the man, what's it called? The, the RV man or Soul Caliber Six at Anime Expo. Yeah, that thing. Like, I'm gonna say Arby's is a B. Like, just hey. Arby's to me kind of feels like a B or A somewhere around there. All right, Manuel. Yeah, next, man. next con, we're fuck <laughs> fuck McDonald's. We're getting Arby's. I think they might have. I think that might have been the guy that they made into uh, Arby's box guy. I don't know. Yeah. Why, don't know why I had an Astroth above my my computer. But yeah. Anyway, why do you have? Uh, that, that's my question. I was like, of, of all. <laughs> He's like totally of all characters. I know of all the, the the things for me to have. Um, I don't like Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, I don't either. No, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't give a fuck about it. It's like it's, D for me. I'm gonna give like it it's a D. fun place to hang out, but like the food's not particularly yeah. good. Yeah, it's it isn't. It's it's like a it's definitely like a CD. That's C for the Buffalo Wild Wings. The atmosphere CD. brings it up, but the wings are nothing special. Exactly, and like I, I know they're trying to like I think they call it like B Dub something. They're trying to like distance themselves from the the wings, but I don't think that's gonna work. Um, so we'll rapid fire a few more. Chick, I mean Chick Fil A. We already did Chick Fil A. Uh, Pollo Loco. El Pollo Loco. 
Yes. Mm, I put a C on Pollo Loco. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I put a C too. Oh, you know, we all come out easy on that one. Yeah, it's like not offensive, but yeah, I don't think I ever go through on my that own. That one's easy. White Castle. White Castle is an A. Yeah. No, it's uh, an S tier. S tier. <laughs> White Castle is S. They I... sell you a suitcase of burgers. I appreciate that. <laughs> with us. I'll, I'll say us. Just call, I don't think I've had a white cat. Wait, I think I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. That shit was pretty fucking good. That shit was, was fire. <laughs> and, and like, they, to, uh, that shit was pretty fucking to me and, like, not to their menu, but, like, this is the only food confident enough to sell itself at the grocery store. Like, oh, fuck true, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And like I said, <laughs> you can buy surprised. a suitcase of, like, 30 and they're just, they're like, hey, we know you want a sack of these. I'm like, yeah, I do. I actually don't like onions, but for some reason I don't mind them on on White Castle sliders. But yeah, I but yeah, like what what they do is just it's great. Why is White Castle good? Loco with like a fucking PNG with no background. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, that's just no White Castle. Anyways, S tier. I think S- it's S tier. S-tier, yeah, here for sure. I put it in A, but S. Uh, I, I'm down with that too. Uh, Baja Fresh. But okay. You want you want to talk about crappy Mexican food? I think Baja Fresh is like trash. I'm gonna say D on Baja Fresh. Yeah. I could make better Mexican food. I and haven't had Baja pricey. Fresh in like 15 years. But and Baja Fresh is also that weird category of like kind of hipstery things I don't like. Also, for very similar reasons. So we'll call Baja Fresh in a D. Menu. But let's move to Chipotle. Oh, sorry, Baja Fresh D. A Chipotle is the one I really was gonna. I, I meant to say at the same time. Chipotle. I have mixed feelings on. Um, mm. like, they're okay, but I don't like I. that. I find it funny. People are like, oh, their burritos are so big. I'm like, have you not gone to a Mexican restaurant? Like a real yeah. Mexican yeah, restaurant? Yeah, like, 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 yeah, yeah. Restaurant? I was like, their burritos are hella big too, dog. It's probably even bigger. <laughs> and probably cheaper. <laughs> and less likely and to make you too. I, I feel like a so, B. I do like them, though. Yeah, like, I, I, I do I, like yeah, them. They're I, still, I probably still give them a B. But I don't think I don't, I don't think they're worth the hype. Um, now that okay. now, now, now that I live in Texas, there is a better mission style burrito place called yes. Freebirds. Oh, I heard it of that place actually. Vastly superior. I think I saw it on a thing on like it's it's really good, and also they'll sell you a baby burrito. They're like, oh, you only want a little burrito. Okay, we I'm got sorry. you. I'm sorry. I, 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 a I baby pa- burrito. Yeah, I, I a baby pause. burrito. I didn't pause to those words, but in my head, I was like, wait, they sell you a baby? I was like, what kind of place is this? Anyway. We'll yeah, you know, you get, you, get, you, get, you get your burrito, you get your baby on, baby? Your, on your way. See, I, I, I don't think their food's that bad, but I'm going to knock them down a peg just because of the... Because I don't think that they, they get there's a hype. So B. B for Chipotle. Um... I think we rapid fire Dairy Queen. Now I do like their food, but nobody goes to Dairy Queen for their food. So what do you think? Their food uh, is actually right. good, though. It's weird. The, thing. the food's pretty good. The food's <laughs> actually pretty good. Right. They're, 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 I, I, I had a buddy that used to give me free fucking food. Is the best. Yeah, it's actually hilarious. He said, "I'll go over there and just fucking get that shit." Because one of the party cities I used to work at was next to a uh, was literally next, like in the same plaza as Dairy Queen, and we knew people there, and they would give us food every so often, like free food. Like I think it was literally food that people didn't didn't want, or they had like leftover fries. I eat the fries. <laughs> like I can trash compactors. But anyways, um, but I don't remember it, so I'm gonna say C just because I don't remember it. It was just I'm gonna say good. B because the ice cream's really good. It's okay, B. I forgot about the ice cream. Even yeah. I the, Why do you think it's you called Dairy Queen? Queen? Like really, he he really food. said Dairy Queen and did not think of ice cream first. <laughs> I agree. So like, this... I'll, I'll move up to the, <laughs> the ice cream. That, I'm stupid. And I even started by saying that, then I forgot. So yeah, B. We'll leave it at B. Um, also, what else is? We're almost done. Um, Baskin Robbins, same thing. Uh, Baskin Robbins is not food. They're just ice cream. Now, I prefer, ice cream. Good ice cream. prefer them over Dairy Queen, though. So I'm going to say, just by the sake of how we rate it, I'd give them an A. Um, I think they used to be better because I, I, I feel like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just remembering things different. But I, I liked them more when I was a kid. Maybe that's just a kid remembering. Josh didn't order me my burger. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't know I was ordering. I feel bad now. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oops, big oof, big oof on me. Anyway, <laughs> so, God damn it, Josh. Feels anyway, bad. 
I gave her a one really big Carl. A really big Carl. I'm not gonna lie. I even saw it in the chat. How could you, how could you forget? Anyways, A for A for uh, Baskin Robbins. Anyone disagree? Agree? I give it a B, but if y'all want to yeah. keep it, Baskin at Robbins, a, I, I say it's a C. Really? Uh, I, uh, it's just ice cream. It's just okay. ice cream. We'll, we'll we'll even it out as a C, just because that was a pretty varied thing, and I don't want any more Bs because that B line's getting kind of long. Yes, we're that stupid the way we rank things sometimes, so just just bear with us. <laughs> um. Oh, Sonic. How did we forget about Sonic? Somebody was asking about Sonic earlier. Um. I only had Sonic recently. Sonic. Yeah. Sonic. I'm not gonna lie. I want to give it an S because it's Sonic, but <laughs> it has nothing to do with the food. They don't even. They're not even like related. But uh, I'm gonna give it an S because you can get tater tots there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give it an A. Oh, yes. Really Sonic equals C because they didn't do the Sonic movie. Yes, they didn't do the Sonic movie commercial. How did they? It does buy- seem absolutely wild that Sonic was not the official fast food tie-in for Sonic. Yeah, that's oh, weird. What? They even serve chili dogs. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Yeah, Olive Garden was like. List. Well, because Olive Garden's bad. I love Olive Garden. I don't know why everyone hates an Olive Garden. We can do our I, fast I casual sometimes. Love Olive Garden. Other. Yeah, I've, I I will admit that it's not like the best food I've ever had, but I like it. It's one of my favorite places. I'd go there right now. Fuck you guys. I'll eat yeah. all my fucking breadsticks. So, Manuel, Fuck you guys. where yeah. are we putting Sonic? Oh, we give it an A or S, guys. An A. Uh, give it an A. A, yeah, A is good. A be good for Sonic. It I go there to grab the food. It would get the it prices would get are dope. S. Yeah, it would get an S if they had Sonic as a mascot. <laughs> I guess. Okay. I guess marketing matters. Okay, what about Wendy's then? Where is Wendy's in all this shit? Wendy's is actually bad. <laughs> yeah, but Wendy's. did you yeah, see their like... Twitter? See, that's what I'm saying. Like, we're not we're not rating the Twitter, which I will admit they're the only brand Twitter I think is okay because they did it first before it was like, oh, we need to get on this. Like, they were so, smart and like, you know. So it's an E or an F. What what is Wendy's? Because Wendy's doesn't really like stand out. Honestly, a D. Yeah. Yeah, I give them. I give them like a C. Like, yeah, the Twitter's e. funny, but the food isn't particularly good. Yeah, yeah D, I guess. I guess D. I'm, I'm going to tweet this list at them when we're done and see if they respond. <laughs> um, What is that next to Boston? We're not doing Boston Market. That's a stupid California thing Pizza Kitchen or Bojangles? Oh, California Pizza Kitchen. We'll do California Pizza Kitchen. California uh, only... Pizza Kitchen's not a fast food place. I don't think it deserves to be on this list. Yeah, we'll I'm with that one too. more of a Jeanette sit down one. or just straight up takeout place. I'll skip that one too, but we'll do Checkers. Because that definitely is. Checkers. Checkers. Only by good, way, only good thing at Checkers is their fries. Yes. By the way, for those who don't know, and uh, we're, we're technically rent, uh, ranking rallies, I think, because rallies is what we know them more as, I think, in this area. But uh, I love rallies. Um, I'm gonna give them a C, just because I love them. But they're not. I, I would definitely go to Carl Jr. Burger. I would definitely go to Burger King, which I always, and I think that's my real B on Burger King. So I say C, just because of how we put it for for Checkers rallies. We put a lot of C's in. In the C, we put a lot of C name uh, uh, restaurants into the C category because the lists are almost always, especially because they're averages, they're almost always going to be like middle tier. Like, if I was doing this, fucking Little Caesars would have been in the S, so fuck you guys. I'm still, I'm still salty. Why is Little Caesars an S for you? That's the real question. What the <laughs> fuck? You be eating garbage, man, you're being garbage this whole entire life. That's what he... <laughs> God, fuck you guys. Um... Hey, Manuel, you remember last year when you posted that uh picture in the Discord that was like. People defending candy corn. That's how they see you. Uh, oh no, candy corn trash. Yeah, candy corn. Candy corn is garbage. Sorry. Yeah, that, yeah, but no, it's like the possum <laughs> saying, "Don't take my trash." And Don't so that's manual to you defending Little Caesars. <laughs> the possum. Um, Yo, I remember when Leslie's just like, "I want some candy corn," and Walmart had his big ass bag, and I was like, "If it," she's like, "I've never had it before." I was like, "Well, well I'll buy it. I, I will buy this for you." But if you don't like it, I'm not going to help you finish it. Because that shit is fucking garbage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, there's like four more quick ones I think we do. And there's two big ones and we'll wrap it up. So first, the, the, the small ones we can do is Cold Stone. Um, only based on what we've ranked so far is I would give them an A. just because I they're definitely I give them an A. Good. Yeah. That's a yeah, pretty sure nice. It, it tastes pretty good. Very, I mean, Cold, Cold Stone, Stone is an A. Okay. 
Now, uh, Jimmy Are we John's... going California Pizza Kitchen? Uh, no, we're oh. not going California Pizza Kitchen. Jimmy John's is another sandwich place. I actually love Jimmy John's. They're ex- I've never been there. Is it they're yummy? Expensive, but they're good. Yeah, it's I bad. love Jimmy John's. What? Damn. What Hold up. We got some opposition right here. What's up? I'm gonna give Jimmy John's an, an A just for starters, and then Janet can say what she what, her, her her wrong opinion. Wow. No, I mean, they're just they're fine. They're not great. They are fast. I like their sticky cheese. Like, Wait, is Jimmy John's the ones you write on the bag and then you like give it to them? Or what? What? what no. That? What? Hold on. What I've the never fuck? heard of that place. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? That sandwich place. Yeah. <laughs> There's a sandwich place where you like, order by writing on the back and they put the sandwich in and then you hand that to them and then they make you the sandwich based on that. Hold on. Sandwich place. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? No. No. But that's not it's Jimmy John's. What the fuck are you talking by, about, by dog? The way, by the way, I still stand by Jimmy John's, but I'm confusing it also by Witch Witch. There's a sandwich place called Witch. Oh, uh, okay. In, I've like, seen Witch Witch. And Witch Witch, that's the one you write on the bag. I just looked it up right now. Sorry. You are you order? confusing with... How order, good like, Witch Witch back. is with how good Jimmy no, Johns is? No, I'm not. Jimmy Johns is not that place, but Jimmy Johns, it, Jimmy Johns is the place I go to. There's one inside of a Target by me, and I go there all the time. Um, and I, I looked that up real fast too, uh, which is why I was confused by the bag thing. But I still stand by Jimmy Johns. Uh, I, I said an A. Did I say an A? I'm saying an yes. A now if I didn't say that earlier. Um, what do you guys say? Um, Jimmy Johns, like a D. Jimmy John's uh, B B. Well, B it. I'm fine with the B. Honestly, I just, uh, that, that B line's getting long. Oh D D yeah D D D D. D no not D. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, so Quiznos. Okay, I never liked Quiznos even when they were competing with Subway. I always thought Quiznos, and there was even a running joke because um they opened a Quiznos next. First of all, Quiznos is almost all gone now. But they opened a Quiznos next to the subway I used to work at when I was younger. And the employees even told me themselves that uh-huh. they would mark certain bread. Not mark the bread, but they were like, oh, this bread is really stale. It's like a few days ago. We'll make sure that's in a toasted sandwich. Because that's the whole thing is they toast almost all their sandwiches. You can get it non-toasted. But basically, if they wanted it not toasted, give them a better bread. But if you want it toasted, they give you like fucking bread that's been sitting there forever. And mind you, that that's for like any fast food place. I'm sure they have stories like that. But I'm just gonna give them a D. For a D, D sounds appropriate. Yeah, they also have really bad commercials. <laughs> no, like, I love those commercials. Yeah, you know, I don't even know what they're doing, but yeah. No, the commercials are great. I'm not gonna so hear this slander D. against those commercials. The D? Still... Or are we putting them? Are we gonna have one F on this list? D. Oh. Um. Uh, there's no I was. F. There's some in D I would have put an F, but I mean. <laughs> exactly. I was about to say, like, I, I think, we, whatever, we're fine. No, you, you guys, guys, you guys just put little Caesars. Chuck E. Cheese, believe, believe, believe We have other options F. that we may just throw in F, but we okay, never know what would happen. Okay, there's only places I think we have to do. First is Shake Shack. Um, I don't think we had to do Shake Shack, but I already said it. So, um. Shake Shack is good. Shake Shack is not good at the prices it's at. Exactly. No, it's, it's overrated. Not. See? Pretty high. I see. No one argues. Okay, now okay. the last two. The last two we have that I think are worth discussing. 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 Is first is Papa John's. Now <laughs> we, we've looked beyond the politics, so I say. So, so for... taking the Papa John out of the yes. Papa John. Now. I, yeah. I, with, with... Just, just to be consistent. Just to be. Consistent, he looks like he eats pizza every day. Just to be consistent, let's he was. Leave, let, let's leave. <laughs> uh, let's leave the politics out of Papa John's. I actually seat. really like their pizza, um, but I I I, w- I would give it a C also because B's too big and also <laughs> B's too big, but also because um yeah I, I don't know, so uh and the the politics is kind of big because it is his name. It's not like the you know the Chick Fil A family isn't doing this, but he's Papa John, you know. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I'm gonna give it a C just because you know politics minorly out of it. So I'll give it a C. Anyone agree or disagree? I, uh, I would rank it sauce. lower. Billy? What do you think? Uh, are we, are we gonna throw this pizza into being less? Wait, it's gonna be in the same oh, tier as Little Caesars? You know okay, I mean, I don't really go to Papa John's, so I think I'm, I'm okay with putting it in D. Let's give it an E because it's definitely below fucking uh, Little Caesars. Yeah, fuck it. We're letting Paul take Oh, it's an E now. Okay. Right here. <laughs> it, it, 
is down there. Right here, right there in the general chat. I'm surprised. Like, I really want Papa Little Caesars to be the bottom Papa range of pizzas, but he's, he's like fighting somehow we have to throw sure. Little John. Little John. <laughs> or Papa John, my bad. Papa John. So the last one is Whataburger. And I didn't mean to say this for last, but I feel like it's a good one to end it with. Because I fucking love Whataburger, even though I'm not from... It's only, I don't know if anyone's even had Whataburger, because it's only like in Arizona, Texas, and like places like that. I mean, I have it. It's down the street. <laughs> I fucking love it. Uh, I think it's very comparable to Carl Jr. And I actually like it more than Carl Jr. And if you recall, I was giving Carl Jr. like an S and A rank. So I'm going to be straight up with you. And I think Whataburger is an S rank. It's definitely the amongst the best fast food burgers you can get. It's, I think it's on par with In-N-Out. It's definitely different than In-N-Out. So I'm not trying to say they're the same. But yeah, I think it's on par with In-N-Out. I think I have had just so many not great foods at Whataburger that I cannot abide by that. I've only gone there like maybe like five times in my life. I always try to whenever I go. Mer Emanuel likes garbage. We have to remember that. Okay. Yeah. I'm a fucking raccoon apparently eating trash. (laughs) No, you're a you're a possum. A possum eating trash. But I give it an S. What do you give it, Janet? Jeanette. Jeanette agrees with you on Little Caesars, and yet she doesn't agree with you on Whataburger. Whataburger, Whataburger is, is like a C. It's not worse than Wendy's. <laughs> There's no way it's worse than Wendy's. Okay. Was Wendy's at a B? Wendy's should also be a C. <laughs> Put it as an A. B's getting, B's getting a little wonky there, and I still say, like, I, I, I've been way too nice this whole thing, so put it as a B. No, I went over right there. Whataburger Aww. does have really good merch. You can get Whataburger, like officially licensed Whataburger cowboy boots. Okay. And yeah. that's fun. Now, oh, that's, 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 that's pretty actually, sick. It's pretty cool. Now, let's take a look at this list see if there's anything really weird. I think it's all like, okay. It's and phallic. Like, I mean, that's what our list not is. Gonna lie. I okay, could I'm put not... Chuck E. Cheese lower. Yeah, but, I'm not going to lie. You know. Chuck E. Cheese. No, okay. You know what? Put it in put it in F just because nothing's on F. Because Pasquale <laughs> is an E or is an E or a D. But Chuck E. Cheese, nah. But Pasquale yeah. isn't on this list. See, my my only qualms is the whole fucking no, D Pas- list. The the whole fucking D list I think is wrong. Okay, not the whole thing. But like I would put I would I would have put McDonald's McDonald's and Little Caesars are both fucking ass. You guys are stupid. You guys are stupid. I'm you, not you, against you. that. You know what? You know what, man? I like over here, Manuel over here. Invite us over to come do his shit. Why don't you do this by yourself then, dog? Shit. Yeah. Talk shit about. I love how because he needs someone to tell him how wrong he is. No, because like beyond those two, Domino's and honestly, like I'm fine with Domino's being a. Oh, Del Taco should be higher. I, it doesn't have to be S, but I... actually, no, I'm fine with Del Taco being an A too. Yeah, I'm fine with most of the other placements. The only the two I'm a... honestly, I don't feel like dying on the hill for McDonald's because. Fuck McDonald's. But Little Caesars. This guy right here. <laughs> no, I'm with Manuel on the Little Caesars. Caesars. You know what? You know what? Little Caesars should be yeah. higher. You know what, JD? We're overriding it as ADJ people. Put it on A. It's going to A. Just take it out of there. It's going to A. Wait, I'll give you C. No, no, no. What are you doing? Best you're going to get. That, that is little not Caesars. going higher. <laughs> Leave that <laughs> word. Little Caesars is not going uh, higher. Later. No, this is abomination. Don't even put okay, it in. We're leaving it there. We're leaving it the Manuel's doing this by an unpopular decision. Yeah. <laughs> Basic ass. Okay, Manuel, no more overrides. Right okay, let's see. I'm evil. Chuck E. Cheese equals F. That's mediocre. Starbucks can go lower. Yeah, everything else is fine. Oh, we don't have the hat. I'm not going to lie. Every I think we've done every, this is actually a longer tier list than we did the first time. I didn't even mention that two years ago we did a tier list. Go Google. The, I mean, go look it up on the YouTube channel if you want to find that on your own. I don't think I'll link it because it's just an odd time for the podcast. I mean, it's a good show. It's just odd. It was a pre nyaru nyaru and so on. But um, but um, uh, we did less. We did less restaurants there, and I think all Fewer. the ones we did are here, except there's uh, a few extras. The only, like I said, Raising Cane's is the only one I can think of the top of my head that probably would be on here, but it's fine. And we talked about it so much. By the way, we'll settle it right now. If I were to say Raising Cane's, I would put that in C. I'm just calling if it. If I were to say Raising Cane's, I would put it at a B. So we probably argue with the B and the C, and then they'll probably end up in the C because the C has that long line that's empty now. And I'm not doing that to B if we had it. So yeah, yeah. go ahead and put California Pizza Kitchen and pretend that. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. So um, that's our list. That put it fun. in C with all of its basic ass. 
customers. No, McDonald's is not going lower than D. I, like, I'm fine with it being D, but I definitely think that that should not be anywhere lower than C. It's a passing restaurant. Um, like I McDonald's, I, I, I'm down with it being a C. But, um, you know, for... fine, we're fine. No more overrides. I, I believe it, it's earned its D location. I think you go lower. And McDon- I think it's McDonald's is just something that you outgrow. It's like probably the first thing that you'll come across in your life with how far it is. <laughs> you're like, and I'm, unless you're in Japan, sorry, I don't McDonald's, think I've outgrown you. Or uh, wherever in Europe it has a good has good no, McDonald's. No, I, I saw what you did there, JD. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that it was extra and it was fucking up the screen. I saw what he did, so he's like, nah, I'm gonna put it back Put that screen. thing back where it was, or so help me. <laughs> no, it, it, that's why you should put it at A, and we could just call it a day. Anyway. Uh, I'm fine with it being at JD. C if Whataburger is at C, apparently. I, I, if it's matching on that out. circumstance, then fine. It can be I'm, there, I'm but McDonald's will be a higher. On the thumbnail. Anyways. That's that. We're going to wrap it up. We went a little bit over time. It's a longer episode than we usually have. Buffalo goes to E and consistent burn smaller than Wingstop. Oh, Wingstop's not on here. Well, Wingstop? No, wait, that's another place. Wingstop is a separate Wingstop place. Wingstop is I. Yeah, I, I give it a B. Wingstop. Yeah, I would give that a B too. It's uh, called Pie Shop right now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty Buffalo. damn good. And, Buff- and Wingstop, I know Buffalo's has fries also, but I actually like Wingstop's fries. Um, we saw fries got like it's pretty good. Love not gonna fries, lie. By the way, I l- fucking love fries. I rank a yeah, lot of places. Fries are great. Fries. Mm-hmm. Man, fries, fries are so good. Oh, uh, fry tier list. Next time Bruh. we do potato, potato tier list. Oh man, let's talk about potatoes. Hash browns. All potatoes are good. Yeah. Oh damn, hash browns, bruh. Full. Hash brown. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's start fuck up and let and let and let let them wrap it up. Let's wrap this show up. It's been a fun time. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been a long time since oh, I met left you. I love gnocchi, but gnocchi. I'm sure you're pronouncing that, but yeah, gnocchi. Yeah, um, gnocchi. At, at little at, at little Caesars at um at Gar- Olive Garden. I call this guy here can't talk. Olive Garden. At Olive Garden, <laughs> you get a chicken with gnocchi soup. It's really great. Love it. It's my favorite soup there. Go go to fucking Olive Garden and get it. It's fucking perfect. Perfect. And then get some breadsticks, get some salad, get yourself one of those giant meatballs and the spaghetti or the pizza bowl or some shit. You're fucking set. Fuck the haters. Anyways. Wow. Anyways. All right. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to say Anyways. that there is one more S tier, and that is Jolly B. Oh, yeah. Jolly Agree. Bee. Oh, Jolly B. Jolly B is pretty fucking good. Thank you for reminding me about that. I would definitely give it an S tier as well because Jolly B is good, both its local version and its overseas variants. Also. Right. Also, Jolly Bee. Like, Manuel you know, didn't put it on here because he he don't like Asian people. I, I actually tried to find it. I couldn't find it in time. It, I guess oh, it didn't matter because it's on life. the list. But like, you know the plug and play <laughs> games like that like people make fun of now because like when early two thousands, like you get like a Pac Man and be like a little Pac Man machine with like AV cable that just plugs it directly to the TV and plays some games. Jolly uh-huh. Bee released one of those where it was just like bootleg games with the Jolly Bee, like j- like being Mario and shit like that. And I bought one, and I'm trying to find it right now. <laughs> To like to to show up for this one, but oops. Anyways, uh, uh oh, let, let's join it again. Jolly B, Jolly B would be an ass. Too bad, Jolly. Hello, B. girlfriend. Welcome. Um, I, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that in 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 editing later on, and because I'm also gonna <laughs> definitely edit out Little Caesars up there. I'm just calling it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna edit it up there. Little Caesars is not in fucking S tier. You get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Anyways, we wrapped this up. It's been fun. It's been fun. We would definitely do this again. Like I said, we have other tier list ideas. We haven't done a tier list since Halloween because uh, Nyara used to be upset. And I'm not gonna lie, kind of was a lazy thing, an easy way to get out of like writing a show. It's like we'll just do a tier list, even though it did take a lot of writing for some of those. Um, but anyways, that's that. We're mostly satisfied with this. I think there's, there's ups and downs, but that's good. It's mainly just a little Caesar thing we just argue about till the cows come home. But uh, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, little Caesars fans. I got your back. I got your back in editing. Okay. What you should do is we'll put. A, you should do a separate episode where all you talk about is how salty you are for little Caesars. You can invite <laughs> us back. We'll yeah. go into their menu item by item, which won't take too long, and then we'll rip into everything so hard you'll you'll get some you'll get some wins oh, and you'll get some elves <laughs> but like i think that's what you should do but you have to acknowledge <laughs> d is where it is that's just where it is yeah it it, it does not belong in emmanuel i don't know what the fuck you blind as fuck 
<laughs> or man will be eating man will be this is man will be eating like this he goes to the toilet he put his hand down to his ass put it to his mouth Lil Caesar's he's like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Fuck you>. <laughs> <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> anyway it's been fun um other streams we have happening this week uh tomorrow we're not doing the wildest wednesday thing sorry that i'm taking the l for that one i needed some more time off for personal reasons so uh and then friday we're doing fa podcast saturday dtl's returning i know this bi-weekly and then uh yeah next tuesday nyara should be back and i don't know what we're talking about yet but nyara should be back and we're doing a a normal upz episode i'm sure we're gonna go over this with nyaru she's gonna be so upset with, with everything on this list and then we'll discuss it with her we're gonna waste half the show next week going over this again so don't worry we're not done <laughs> and i'm sure jd will hate will be so mad that we're just gonna waste half the show going over the list again but um anyways 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 anything else anyways. you guys want to plug warren what we'll start with you Warren. i know you have some some shit coming up uh no i'm just stre- like i have this i have to make i actually have to uh alter my streaming schedule because there's a lot of things i have to do this week so tomorrow i'm probably gonna do dark souls instead of thursday and then uh, DTL on Saturday. That's about. That's it. That, that's uh, the only thing I got. Everyone, real fast. Because I swapped out. Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You swapped out what? No, because I swapped out my day for my my actual stream for this oh. day. Because you know, oh, yeah. Manuel over here. Well, Manuel over here is like, I'll tell you if I don't need you, and he didn't say shit. So I was just like, I right, I guess I'm coming over. And Manuel's yeah, like, I'm... Well, you got lucky. Someone didn't come in. I was come through, yeah. and I was like, You did. You told me now. After I like. <laughs> After I already be so, uh, yeah. So this this stream week is kind of a little wonky, but I'll just make it up. For, I'm I'm gonna make up for it tomorrow. Real fast before I forget, everyone pose for the thumbnail before like do something. Like let's do a peace sign because uh, I don't have it set up. I can take screenshots otherwise. So let's just do it right here on, during the stream. So I'll just screenshot it later. It's fine. Okay, that should be good. Um, if we not, didn't I'll pose. Oh, you didn't pose. I posed. We all no. Pose, but you. You, you, you're supposed to count. Oh, you always two, count. One, one two. Oh. oh. There we go. Um, All right. So, yeah. Josh, anything you want to promote? Uh, just uh, find me at Fotaku Network on YouTube, Facebook, oh, yeah. and Instagram. And then Network oh, Fotaku okay. on Twitter because it'd be flipped. But, yes. Um, that, that's my plugin. <laughs> find me there. Daniel, you and me can get Little Caesars without them. Thank you. We're all getting Little Caesars without them. Everyone here. Hell, here. yeah. Okay, Janet. I assume nothing else for you to promote because you don't really. Uh, yeah. I guess you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Anarchy Marie. Sometimes I make fun of Manuel. It's great. Yep. Sometimes I do. post pictures of my cat. High quality content, right? We there. make we make fun of Manuel all the time. So it's the A to J <laughs> national sport. It is. It really is. I tell you, A to J is united more more so, and it's like not dislike. I guess it's and it's like mockery of me. That's a better way to put it. It's united in its mockery of Manuel. That's like that's a cute. That's a Yo, cute hold up, hold up. I love you though. <laughs> we actually are. I, you don't love me. Me and Manuel be fighting, but when there's times where, there there's a lot of times where I just ride just to ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at this! We're having a bromance right here live on air, guys. And that's that's a great way to end that always do, motherfucker. What are you I talking know, about? <laughs> Anyways, all right. Anyways, out. thank you all for watching. Thank you for showing up, Josh. Deuces, Janet, y'all. Uh, thank uh, you for having me. Good night. Thank you everyone for showing up. Peace out. Love you all. Thank you, JD, for uh, night, everyone. For breaking up some ties. Good night. <laughs>